Dance, dance, dance. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at the finish for man. Your goodness and mercy they fall on from my life. Oh, praise the Lord when I vanish from my tongue. Oh, hallelujah. I'm not gonna finish. Hey, I'm not gonna finish from my mouth. Say, hallelujah. I'm not gonna finish from my mouth. Oh, your goodness and mercy they fall on from my life. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm not gonna finish. You're not dancing. This song is sweet. Ha! Hallelujah! Ha! 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 You say! Ha! Ha! Forever. Hallelujah. You 
Lord. I commend my soul to praise the Lord. I commend my soul to praise the Lord. Sing so. Joy. I command my feet to jump for joy. I command my feet to jump for joy. I command my feet to jump for joy. Feet, holy feet, jump for joy. Feet, jump for joy. Feet, jump for joy. Feet, Every praise is to our God. You say every word I worship from our God. Every praise, every praise, every praise to our God. Here we go, here we go. Oh, every praise, you say every word. Sanctuary. We lift, we lift our hands to give you the glory. We lift our hands to give you the praise. And we will praise you for the rest of our day. Oh, yes, yes. We will praise you for the rest of our day. We lift our hands. We lift our hands in the sanctuary. We lift our hands. We lift our hands to give you the glory. We lift our hands. We lift our hands to give you the
kilo. Somebody shout hallelujah. Okay. Pass the one you have over there. Shout hallelujah. Let's go. Let's go for the real deal. Glory be to my God in the highest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say. Hallelujah. God has been good to us. Healing is already done. Breakthroughs are here. Deliverances are here. Jobs are here. Healing is going on. Shout hallelujah. Dance it, dance it, dance it. Dance it, dance it, dance it. Dance it, dance it, dance it. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. 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 No lockdown. 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 Praise no get all in day. No holiday. Praise no get all in day. No holiday. Anointing no get all in day. No holiday. Favor no get all in day. No holiday. No lockdown. 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 The word of God is spirit and life. It they quicken my body. It they give strength to me. The word of God is no settle in heaven. It be light and darkness. It they shine on my path. The word of God is spirit and life. It they quicken my body. It they give strength to me. The word of God is no settle in heaven. It be light and darkness. It they shine on my path. The word of God. Again. The word of God. The word of God. If you want to eat burger, this, the this, 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 this is not the place where you are. Here we go. This not be burger. This not be 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 pizza. This not be 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 this not the word of God. 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 The word of God, our spirit and life. He they quicken my body. He they give strength. The word of God. The word of God. Sex? 
This no be Ibola. This no be Shawama. This no be Abura. This no be Gizero. This no be Tuo. This no be Suya. This no be Gwen. This no be Jola. This no be Jola. This no be Jola. This no be Jola. This no be Word of God. What do you to call them? Say, what do you to call them? Oh. One more time! Oh, who called just who? Who called just who? Long more in me, who? Me, I don't go ever lose. And let them marry them for my side. Oh. What do you to call them? I say, what do you to call them? Oh. Somebody shout the loudest hallelujah. If you know your God cannot fail, you shout the loudest hallelujah. Shout the loudest hallelujah. Come on, let's clap our hands together for Jesus. We are now in the beginning of our breakthrough and third service. So let's please all rise to our feet and turn our attention towards the screen. I will read the first verse. Then the church will read the second and so on. Amen. Let's shout the loudest amen. 
Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not to give up. Verse 2. Verse 3. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with the plea, grant me justice against my adversary. Verse 5, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. Verse 6. Verse 7. And will not God bring justice about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? Verse 8. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, bring justice against our adversary in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as we pray and as we clap our hands in Jesus' name. Begin to pray and clap your hands. Bring justice against my adversary in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that wants to wish me harm or doesn't want me to see tomorrow, oh God, may the judgment of the Lord rain down upon their life in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to open your mouth and pray. Judgment of the Lord rain down upon them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Those that don't want me to shine, oh God. Those that don't want me to walk as you have walked in the faith of Jesus Christ, oh God. Lord, let them be put to shame in the name of Jesus Christ. Let my adversaries be put to shame, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. May my life surprise them, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Anyone that has wished evil upon me, oh God, may the judgment of the Lord, oh God. May you judge. The Lord hateth and is angry with the wicked every day. So may the wicked be perishing every day in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for what you have done. We thank you for today. We thank you for what you have done over the course of these four days, oh God. We thank you for keeping us and protecting us, oh God. We thank you for upholding us in your mighty hands, oh God. We thank you for the judgment of our adversaries, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. Through our life, let your name not be put to shame, oh God. Through our life, let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we give you all the praise, glory, honor, and adoration. For and in Jesus' name we pray. Somebody shout the loudest, amen. amen. Clap our hands together for Jesus. You may all be seated, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm just going to share some announcements with us today. You're welcome to God's Remnant Assembly and to our breakthrough service. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Our prophetic pillar for this month of Judah is the vengeance of Jesus Christ. Amen. God is going to fight for us, stand for us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Please, let's take note as everybody's settling down, finding their seats. God bless you for, um, as you come in and as you settle down, please just follow the instructions of the ushers as they guide us to where we're supposed to be seated. Um, please take note that there are books for your nourishment and spiritual growth that are available for purchase. Several, diff several different titles that have been written by our Father in the Lord. And if you need a devotional, if you need something to pray with, a prayer book, if you need just um, some of the words that we've, um, we've heard over so many seasons in God's Remnant Assembly, these are available at the GRA Marketplace. And that's right by the front desk. There are several different um, titles that are there. Please avail yourself to some of these titles. These things will really move you and launch you into a different dimension in your walk with the Lord. Amen. Also, please take note, we have a special platform that we use to give um, 
and it's called tithe.ly. Please look at the screen on my left and on my right for the instructions on how to use this giving platform. Um, you just connect your, you sign up, connect your bank account or your card to it, and um, you're able to give your tithes, your offerings, um, literally just with a click of a finger. God bless you as you do that. And then also, please take note, um, we always want to use the opportunity that is given to share what God has done. Um, the Bible says that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Your overcoming is established as you share what God has done. So when that um, testimony lands, or when you're, saying, you're, you're trying to um, give it by faith, just go up to the front desk at the end of the first service and at the end of the second service to just type your name into a designated iPad. That's specially for those who want to share their testimonies. And once that is done, please, those are the only people that will be asked to come up forward during that specific time of testimonies. So please, let's take note of that, those instructions. Also, if you're coming in here for the first time, or if you've been here before, please just take note that if you're stepping out of the building, you're going somewhere, let the ushers know if you're staying so that your seat can be saved, so that we can make accommodations for those people who are coming in. We have multiple services running through um, back to back, so we want to make sure that people who are coming in have a place to sit. So please, always just let the usher know your um, plans, if you're leaving, if you're staying, um, that helps them make proper adjustments. And um, when there is a call for a um, altar call or prayer. Sometimes you may be given a prayer card or a decision card. That's really important because we use it to keep in touch with you. We use it to pray for you. We use it to um, keep you covered. The Bible says that um, it, it, one of the testimonies, well, one of the parables from the Bible sh talks about how there was a lost sheep and God did everything, the, or the shepherd did everything to go after that lost sheep. And that's what God has sent us here for. The enemy sometimes isolates people so that he can attack. And we don't want you to be amongst those people who are isolated. So that's why we need you to just keep in touch with us. We want to stay connected with you, with your information and your prayers. And people will be calling, people will be praying with you. And we are truly at praying that God will establish each and every one of us. And that we will not be an isolated um, sheep. Amen. Also, please, let's take note that... Um, during the service, one of the key things that the enemy will use as a distraction is not allowing us to hear the word that we will need. Um, the Bible says that there's a right word. There's a word in season. And it's so easy to come into the right place to hear the word. But at the moment that your word is coming, that's when somebody's giving you a call or a text message is coming or you're talking to somebody in the prayer foyer or you're, you know, you're, you're still washing your hands and trying to dry it in the bathroom. We, let's just be very sensitive by, as, as we come into God's presence because the thing that we need is here. Amen. God didn't bring you here by mistake. He's ordered your steps. And the Bible says that by the word of a prophet, Israel was delivered. And by that same word, what they preserved. God is going to use the word to preserve you. So as you come in, let's stay focused. Let's stay focused on the word. Let's stay focused on what we're hearing. Especially during the, um, the time for the word, the time for prayer. Let's connect. Make sure that you go if you need to step out. Do that and come back in quickly. All the side conversations can occur after the service is over. Don't let the enemy steal from you. God bless you as you follow those instructions. Amen. And now, I just want to take a special time. This is a special time in the service when we acknowledge the people who are coming here for the first time. So please, if that is you, I just need you to wave your hand. Just raise up your hand and wave that, hey, 
I'm here. Somebody invited me. I came. I want to just, we want to acknowledge you because we know God has brought you here. We've been praying for you. We've been praying that someone like you will come into a place like this so that God will change your story. So please, if that is you, just wave your hand. Just wave your hands quickly. You're welcome. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Now, please, the people around them, let them know that they are welcome. These are answers to prayers because the fact that you're here means God wants to start and finish something in your life. So we thank God for your lives. God bless you all. Please, if you're still there, please just wave your hand. Just wave your hands. Just wave your hands. I just want to pray. Now, can you do me one more favor and just stand up for a few seconds as I pray? Just a few seconds. Just a few seconds. Now, even if this is your first time or you have not been here for a long time or maybe this is still your second time or your third and a half time, please also stand up. God bless you. God bless you. Now, I'll go, I want us to just stretch our hands towards these people. Why? Because we want to believe and release the word of God over their lives. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, establish these ones on the truth of your word because they came today in the name of Jesus Christ. Every assault of the enemy against them is crushed by the word and in the name of Jesus. Father, the thing that they need, you're the one who says you will supply all of our needs according to your riches in glory. Father, Lord, meet them at the point of their need. Change them, transform them, heal them, perfect them, strengthen them, cover them, fill them with your spirit. And let them never be the same. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Somebody put your hands together. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you for the interlude. Thank you for the interlude. Amen. Now, uh, I want us to use this opportunity to uh, praise God just for 20 seconds because of what God has been doing over the past few days. Amen. So for 100% Triumph Dominion 2024, somebody shout out hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. God bless you. And Father, we give you praise for what you've been doing. How many of us have been part of this? Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. And how many of us have been part of the planning for this? Praise ye the Lord. See what God is doing before our very eyes. Amen. And for all of you who have been part of this, Trust me, this is not a mistake. God is so intentional. And I give God praise for what he's already started to do. And we are so grateful for the souls. We're grateful for all the ministers. We're grateful for everyone who has been in attendance. We're thankful for the hotels. God just doing and working all the logistics out. To you alone be the glory in Jesus' name. Amen? Now, um, this... This Dominion Refiner's Fire continues through this service, so please just keep in mind we're running and finishing up with several different things for today's service as well. So please don't leave just yet. Amen? Now, um, also, as we, we have some other announcements. We have some other announcements. Please... Uh, the Family Development and Samaritan Foundation has a special program um, that we, a special program for the 5K run or walk, amen? This is something that we host every year to raise funds for the different um, um, assignments that God has appointed for God's Remnant Assembly and Family Developments and Samaritan Foundation. What our focus is to build strong families, and that means we are building a stronger nation, amen? The enemy has attacked families all across the nation, and we want to be the the, the catalyst to rebuilding that in Jesus' name. So please, let's let take note that for the 5K, registration continues. The early bird registration is $30, and then it's going to go up soon to $40. So please, let's go up to the um, information desk at the lobby, and let's make sure that we register as soon as possible. Now, this will be held on May the 11th, by the mercy and grace of God. And uh, children under the age of 10 will be um, able to register for free. Uh, 
Now, uh, the run starts at 8 a.m. And uh, of course, there's warm up from, I think, 7 or 7. Registration starts at 7 a.m. And please, um, if you want to be a part of this, now, you don't, you don't have to run the whole time. You know, we're not trying to, you know, get our highest running time for, for those of us who are you know, um, working on it. Uh, I just want you to be mindful that please don't wake up on May the 11th and say, oh, I'm going to run for the first time today. You do need to prep. You need to prep towards that day, towards that time, just every single day, do a little bit more than what you did before. So if you walked a mile, then you just add, a, you know, 1.5 the next day. And just keep the, 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 the timing, the warm-up. If you're running, if you're brisk walk or jogging, just keep the momentum um, so that you are preparing your body for the distance that you'll be covering. Amen. We will not have any um, people lost on the wayside in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then also we have a special program. Now, this is something that is greatly anticipated and it's something that we have almost every, um, every year, which is our soak in the Holy Ghost. This is a special retreat that we go and just bask in the presence of God and it will be held in the month of July. Um, please just take note of that. And before I finish that, there's also a registration for um, the 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 5k walk so please let's register go up to the information desk or go to the event bright um site and then you'll be able to register there but thank you for that and then um take note for registration for holy um soak in the holy ghost which will be held in july registration starts has started already and the registration fee is 250 dollars and the last date to register is the end of the month 28th of april please take note of that we just have about two more weeks for that god bless you for those of you who will be part of that amen so um, I just want to share some of the things that constantly go on every week at this church. Um, we have different weekly events. Please take note of that. Be a part of it. Stay connected to this church family. Um, the Bible says that those who are planted in the house of the Lord will flourish. We want to see your flourishing. We want to see you flourish in your finances, in your health, in your spirit, in, your, um, in everything that you touch. So uh, I want us to stay connected. So one of those ways is through our Metamorphic Church. This is a church on the phone. And the best way to connect with us is the information will be put up in a few minutes with the number and the access code. So uh, this is a church that meets every morning and every evening. The theme for this coming month, um, this coming prayer um, week will be the working the morning star is ever shining. Amen. Hallelujah. And the, the information is there at, um, on the screen. Hallelujah. And it's, uh, it will be showing up. The access code will be also posted up. Please, can you take it back to that screen? Thank you. And, uh, yeah. and the access code is posted up. There's also an app that we can use called uh, Free Conference Call HD. This is, makes it easier, download it, and that you can have free access to these meetings. Now, we meet on Sundays through Monday mornings at 5.30 a.m., and then Monday through Saturday evenings at 8.30 p.m. God bless you as you connect with us that way. Also, Hypersonic Church premieres at 10 a.m. on Sundays on our YouTube channel. This is um, a special opportunity to hear and glean from the word um, that our Father and Lord is releasing. This is something that we've been doing for several years, even through the pandemic and now continues. And the focus this year we've started is our perfection books. We want to see God perfect everything that concerns each and every one of us. So those are the the, the epistles of John that have been um, posted up every Sunday. So check it out uh, on our YouTube channel and God bless you as you do that. Also on Tuesdays, we have our covenant day of fasting. This here, we meet 
in person at 7 p.m. And uh, we start prayers at 6.30 p.m. This is our Jesus Chosen Fast and Prayer. And then our second, another covenant day of fasting is on Thursday. And this is for power of godliness. And we meet at 7 p.m. as well. And then on Fridays, we usually have some time that we're spending with the, with the Lord. Something that may last till daybreak. Something that may just last maybe through the wee hours of the night. But um, the times and the information will be posted um, for those ev Friday evening meetings. Um, now, please, if you are not aware, there's also an app that is available for us for real-time information for different programs and events that um, the church has. So once you download that app, you actually can get you know, notifications. And please just take note of that. If you need help with getting that app or getting that particular download, please go up to um, the front desk and they will help you um, connect that way. Also, if you want to connect with us, you can use our Instagram handle at God's Remnant Assembly Central and at Dr. Akintayo Emmanuel. God bless you. These are the announcements. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you know you have life in abundant measure, someone shout a louder hallelujah. you have life in abundant measure, shout a louder hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen, amen, and blessed afternoon, brethren. We're going to go into our testimonies where we're going to come and say the good things that God has done in our lives. Amen? Amen. So as we begin, Brother Michael, please come down. Brother Michael, please come to share your testimony. And uh, Come on, that's it. Put your hands together. Let's bless the name of God. Hallelujah. And one housekeeping rule, please, 60 seconds. Just tell the brethren what God has done in your life. Amen? amen. Go ahead. Firstly, I want to thank the Lord for abundant, in abundant measure. I want to thank uh, my father and the mother and Lord. Um, hallelujah. Uh, after several months, I want to say about five months of not having a job, being out of work and searching consistently, praying, fasting, trusting in the Lord, um, he has graced me with a miracle job uh, <laughs> a month ago, and it has been amazing ever since, and I just want to thank the Lord and give give all the praise and glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God for that mighty mega job. Sister Righteousness, come and testify to the glory of God. While she's coming, Sister Laura, Brother Caleb, Sister Lovely, Brother Jesse, let's all come on down and get ready. Sister Righteousness, are you here? All right. Sister Laura, come and testify. All right. Brother Caleb, come on down. Come and share of what God has done in your life. One second, Brother Caleb. Hallelujah. Um, I want to thank God for my life, I want to thank God for all of you, I want to thank God for my prayers in the Lord. Um, I want to thank God that um, this week, um, I just want to thank God for showing me mercy and allowing me to die in sin because like, this week, the week for dominion, leading to dominion, like the devil really came for me and just, you know, me doing like things I said I was not going to do and I just want to thank God for just like mercy. I want to thank God for um, Sister Wonders of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. His mercies are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Brother Caleb, testify to the goodness of God in your Good life. Good afternoon, everybody. So I got to thank the Lord for a couple of things. Um, first, I want to thank him for allowing me to attend Dominion 2024. Yeah. It's been a real touching experience, and it's doing great works in my life right now. This is, I'm proud to say this is like the closest I've ever been with God. So I'm, I'm glad to find that relationship with him again. Hallelujah. And I want to thank him for blessing me with school. Um, in six weeks, I will be a first generation student graduating with a bachelor's in cybersecurity. <laughs> and lastly, I want to thank him. Uh, next weekend, I'll be able to attend a, uh, a highly selective cybersecurity internship program in DC. So I, all glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank God for his faithfulness. We praise God for what he is doing in your life. Sister Lovely, please make your way down. Deacon Jesse will be next, and then followed by Sister Wonders of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to thank God for his mercy and grace. I want to thank God for my parents and the Lord. I want to thank God for favor. So earlier this year, I decided to renew a particular document that I really needed. And normally when they... Um, 
um, renew it. It takes a long time and they only renew it for like two years. But this week I got a mail um, with them approving it and also um, renewing it for like five years. So I just want to give God all the praise and glory. Hallelujah. Thank God for that. Deacon Jesse, Sister of Wonders of God, please get ready. And Deaconess Uduak, you'll be coming up next. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So first of all, I want to thank God. I want to thank God for my father and my mother and the Lord. I want to thank God for my wife. I want to thank God for our son. Um, so I have a couple of testimonies. So the first one, I want to thank God because last week I had like a, my eye, my left eye was hurting very bad. So I anointed it with the anointing oil. And over the days, it just went away. So I want to thank God for healing. Um, the second one, I had shared a testimony last week that God had given me a job, and God did give me a job, but the, um, a couple of days ago, um, I got a call or email from the recruiter saying that they want to um, give me a, a higher position than the, in the job, than the position that they initially gave me. So they, um, so they gave me a higher position, and they gave me $10,000 more on top of what they said they initially was going to give me. So I want to thank God for that. And um, I, hallelujah. I want to thank God for, um, so last year, me and my wife, we owed the IRS for seven to $800. And, you know, I was just letting her know that, you know, God is going to pay. We're not going to use our own money to pay. And I, I brought the issue to my father and the Lord, and he just laid his hands on it. He said it is done. Long story short, this month, the, the bill is paid off. So I want to thank God for it. Hallelujah. Send now prosperity. Amen. Sister Righteous Elberith, come and testify to the good things that God has been doing in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God for um, praise God for your testimony. I, I rejoice to receive it in Jesus' name. Uh, thank God for my father, my mother, and the Lord, my husband, and my family, and all of you. I just give God thanks for... Um, my mom was having some health challenges in her knees. They were saying that she couldn't really walk, all of these things. Um, they wanted me to come down there. I said, I'm not going there with my mom having any type of issues walking. And I, to the praise and glory of God, I spoke to her on yesterday, and she said that not only did she lose weight, but she, like everything is good. She's walking. She's about to retire. Like She's just living her best life. So I just really give God thanks for healing in her life. And in my life also, I was experiencing some headaches recently, um, even up until this morning. And I just put some anointing oil, because I'm not really a, a pill drinker. So I just uh, put some anointing oil on my head and just... Um, you know, decree the word of God over my life. Um, and I thank God that I have, I don't have any headache. So I thank God for just healing in my body and, and what he's doing in, in my life, the life of my family, and you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God for his divine help. Deaconess Uduak, you can come on down. And following that, Sister Wonders of God will be next. Come on, brethren, let's thank and let's bless the name of God. Hallelujah. I thank God that I am a child of God. I thank God that God has given me my father and my mother in the Lord. I thank God that I do not take them for granted. Okay, so let me give you guys a back, a his, a back the background. I have a business, and my business um, is a high ticket business. So that means that when I go out and be the customer, I'm billing them between $2,000 to $10,000 for my service. So usually, it'll take, when I go and see them, after meeting with them, it'll take them two or three, maybe a week, to get back to me. If I see five people, one, um, two or three people will sign up with my service. Okay, that's the background. So last week, Daddy was anointing everyone's head. So I came with my family, he anointed our heads, and then I left. He said, come back. So I came back, he said, call your husband. We both came back. He touched our hands and he anointed our hands. And he said, Go, whatever you touch will prosper. I ran to my phone, my business phone. So one, I missed a step. So from the beginning of the year, it's been a little slow. It didn't really bother me because I've been in business for 10 years. And we have slow times and we have fast times. So it didn't bother me, but when that, I anointed my hands, I went, I grabbed my phone and I prayed over my phone. The following day, this is a Monday. Wow. Okay, so I'm driving, I get the first call. And the person said they wanted to meet with me. 
So I put it the address to the GPS and I told them, I'll see you in 30 minutes. So I got there, I did the inspection, I gave them my quote. My quote was about $3,000. Usually it takes between two to a week before they respond to me. The person said he'll sign the contract on the spot. Oh. I'm not done, I'm not done. So, and then he signed the contract with me and then he made a payment in full. So I always get my payments in full before I give you my service. So I got in my car, I was so excited. I'm like, God, this is good, I'm so excited. It never happens. I got another call. Mm. Come on. And the guy gave me his address. I put it in my GPS and I told him I'll see you in 15 minutes. I got there. After doing my inspection, I gave him a quote of about 2005. He said he'll do it. Mm. So, now I'm nervous, okay? This is like two contracts signed and they paid me before I left. So I got in my car. I called Kay. Kay's my husband. I said, Kay, you need to cancel your schedule this week because my phone was anointed yesterday, we're about to be busy. And then I got another call. I was nervous. I told the person, I got the address, where would you be, where would I be? And I, I went to meet them right away. And they signed right away. Wow, 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 wow. Between Monday and Tuesday, I got eight calls. Wow. 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 And all of them signed to use my services. All wow. eight calls. Wow. Hallelujah! Wow. Hallelujah! So this is not me, this is God. When God wants to do something in your life, Amen. he doesn't do it little. He does it big so that you know it. So you know it's him. So you can give him the glory. God is good. I give God all the glory and I'm so thankful. I'm thankful that I worship the God of miracle. Amen. Wow. Praise God for his faithfulness, for his marvelous doings in our eyes. That's powerful. Hallelujah. Sister, wonders of God, come and testify. Brethren, come on. Let's keep that same energy. Keep on blessing the name of God for that powerful testimony. Deacon Timothy, you'll be next, followed by Sister Belua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for God's Roman Assembly. I want to thank God for my spiritual parents. I want to thank God for showing me mercy while I was living in sin. Um, two quick testimonies. I just want to thank God um, because a couple of days ago, or for the past few days, I've been in really severe pain um, to the point where, like, I was feeling nauseous. Um, I was just feeling extremely, extremely blessed. And um, I found the Lord saw me, and he, you know, he asked me what was wrong, and I told him that I was blessed. And he said, you know what? I'm not even going to pray for you. You're going to be healed. And I received it, and I believed it. And I just want to thank God that today I'm standing here with zero pain. My second testimony, I just want to thank God for God's favor over my life. Um, yesterday, a complete stranger filled up the gas in my car to full. And with the gas prices these days, it was, it was a lot of money. Um, and I just want to thank God because um, we have to give God thanks even for the little things as well. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise God for that beautiful testimony. Sister Beulah, please come up and testify to the glory of God. Hallelujah! Followed by Sister Ruth and Brother Femi. Amen? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Um, first of all, I just want to give God all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration belongs to Him. I just want to thank God for our spiritual parents and GRA globally. Um, I want to thank God. Um, some people saw me with a knee brace and wondering what was going on. People were asking me what was going on. Some people helped me up when I was kneeling. I tore my meniscus. Um, so I had to, and it just was not healing. So I had to go get surgery on Wednesday. I just thank God for a successful surgery. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So many people. I remember my teacher telling me in middle school that her husband went in for knee surgery and did not make it out. I thank God that was not my story. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to thank
thank God um, because prior to that, I was in a lot of pain and I was taking like, um, you know, over the counter meds and it just was not working. And the Holy Spirit spoke to um, my father and the Lord and told him to give me um, a towel that he had um, anointed with his hands. And I was just placing it over my knee. And up until the surgery, I'm telling you, I did not have any pain like at all. I just give God all the praise for that. Um, I just want to thank God um, also because uh, about a year ago, um, well, I just, I just want to thank God because just not getting sick, and that's a big testimony for me because every season change, I usually suffer with a sinus um, infection that leads to an asthma flare-up. I've had asthma since I was a little girl, and I'm constantly in and out of the emergency room, fees, all of that, everything. And, you know, about a year ago, the Holy Spirit reminded me as I was sitting down, a year ago, I just, I just threw away my nebulizer machine because I just was looking at it and I was cleaning my room and just, I heard God whisper to me, this is the reason why you're still dealing with that thing because this, this thing is carrying spirits. So I just threw that thing away. And so for somebody to have, know they have asthma and to throw away the nebulizer, that's a big leap of faith. And I just thank God that I have not been sick. <laughs> That's a, that's a big testimony. I've been struggling with that for years in and out of the hospital. It has been a terrible hold on my life. I just thank God that I have not gotten sick. Hallelujah. I just thank God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Um, I also just want to thank God for um, his faithfulness. Um, when I first came to God's Room Assembly, um, I would not be able to understand our Father and the Lord. <laughs> and I, I know, like, he has an accent or whatever, but it wasn't because of that. Like, seriously, I could not understand what he would be saying. Um, and, like, people would be like, amen. And then, like, a few minutes later, I'd be like, amen, because I'm just getting what he said. And I just thank God that over time, he removed the evil veil over my ears, so I'm able to understand our Father and the Lord and receive my breakthrough. So I just thank God for that. And lastly, um, I just want to um, thank God that since I've been, thank you, um, since I've been reading God's word, like, I don't know why, I'm not, I used to have trouble, like, reading, like, struggling to read, and I'm not dumb. Like, I have bachelor's degree in, like, biology, like, I'm smart, like, so I'm like, I can read what's going on. Um, and as I've been reading the word, like it has just been coming so naturally for me to read and understand what I'm reading. So I just thank God for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your testimony shall be permanent in Jesus name. Sister Ruth, please come and testify. Hallelujah. Brother, put your hands together for Jesus. Come on. Brother Femi, you'll be next, please. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, I just want to thank God for, um, GRA for allowing me to be here. Um, I want to thank my parents and the Lord. I want to thank God for what he has done in my life. Last month, I testified that um, at the end of the year review, I got a 7% um, pay increase and um, also a bonus. Uh, a week later, my boss literally asked me, she was like, how much do you need for you to be happy? So I told her my hey. price. Um, I told her my price, and literally this month, I got a $30,000 hey! pay increase. And, um, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. And uh, my prayer was, I wanted, I asked God, God, I want to move in a different task bracket before my birthday. And God literally made that happen. So I am so grateful. Um, thank you, thank you. Wow. Praise the, wow. Not, not 30, 100. Hallelujah. I, um, so between last between last month and this month, I received a good almost forty thousand dollars pay increase. So, very happy. Hallelujah. My second testimony is I also want to thank God for also seeing me through in my military career. Um, I'm in a program right now. It's called um, Officer Candidate School. I am um, trying to be an officer in the army. One of our tests was pass a four mile run, and I played soccer my you know, when I was younger, but I've ne I was never a fan of running, so I was practicing for that run. So I had to do a full mile in 36 minutes, and I literally did it in 35. So I want to thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God for that powerful testimony. Brother Femi, come up. Brother Femi, followed by that, OB Evangelist, be ye rich and righteous. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for life, life in abundant measure. I want to thank God for just his grace over my life. I want to thank God for my father, mother, and Lord, and just all of you beautiful souls here. So uh, first testimony is um, 
So when I first like, started coming to GRA, I was one of those people who, it was just first service. First service, I'm out of here. Uh, if I don't come for first service, you're not gonna see me. Even if, even if I do come for first service, the second I hear the grace, I'm gone. Uh, so uh, just like, I think since last summer, my consistency started to improve. And like, I just wanna thank God because uh, I know like this is my seated house. Like I'm never leaving GRA, no matter what. And I just wanna, I just wanna thank God because uh, like those times when I would come, like I wouldn't speak to anyone. I would just talk to my sisters as if they were the only people in the church. Like even my parents and the Lord, I wouldn't, I wouldn't greet them if I saw them. But I just wanna thank God because like my social anxiety is is gone. Like and I, and I it's, 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 it's because of it's because of you guys. And I I wanna thank you guys for that. Uh, my second testimony is a uh, few weeks ago. Uh, so like. Uh, I want to thank God for dominion, actually. So a few weeks ago, I actually was unable to pay for it. And I didn't just want to pay for myself. I even wanted to pay for other people. So I reached out to some people, and they blessed me. My lovely brother Jeff was one of them. But uh, it wasn't enough. So I was living in, so last semester, I was living in an apartment in D.C. So when I was there, I'll be honest, worst season of my life, depression was just eating me there. So when I left, uh, apparently I was supposed to do like a move out inspection where they inspect the place and, you know when, when you like pay, when you're going to an apartment, you have to pay a security deposit. So the amount I paid was 1300 And then uh, actually what I did to that place, like to the structure, to the, Jesus, it was as if it was an animal that was living there. So uh, this year, I actually moved out December 18. So this year, like when I moved out, I left the place in a complete mess. So I think it was on my spring break, I went back to clean up and I was supposed to be the one to file the move out inspection. But when I emailed them, they said they had already done it and like, this was before I even cleaned the place, so one of my friends called me and was like, you can't forget your security deposits, it's gone. And then I was just like, you know what, uh, it was, this was, this was, so it was the mercy week of our fasting. This happened after. So I emailed them again, and then I was like, what about the moving inspection? And he was like, it's already been done. And then I made another email, I said, have there been any deductions? They said no. I was like, wow. I, I, cause I know how I left that place. Like, I'm supposed to be in debt, even to them. And to the glory of God, 1300 check came in on my birthday. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Also, I, I just want to thank God for adding another year to my life. On the the day Dominion started was when uh, God added another year to my life. I just want to thank God for that. Hallelujah! We serve a merciful God, and we are always abiding by the laws. Of the land. Evangelist billionaire Beek, Rich and Righteous, come and testify to the glory of God, followed by Pastor Daniel Gold. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank God for um, God. Thank God for who He is in my life. Thank God for my Father, Mother, and the Lord. Thank God for God's room assembly, my appointed place. I want to thank God for God's mercy. I want to thank God for everyone here. Hallelujah. Um, I just want to testify of God's goodness and God's faithfulness. Um, in my life, two years ago, um, I quit my job. Um, I, I intentionally quit my job because I was just, um, I didn't like how the job that I had um, was not allowing me to be able to have the flexibility that I wanted to be able to serve God more, to spend more time with him. Um, during that 2022 period, early beginning of the year, um, I didn't, you know, I, I was fighting to still have that time to just be disciplined, to have that relationship with God, to go out and evangelize and to, all, to do all those things. So I quit my job thinking that I can just get back into the job market. And I began to just serve God faithfully and do all those things. I picked up some side hustles. Um, I did Lyft, I did Uber. DoorDash, Grubhub, you name it, you know what I'm saying? I was practically on the road, you know, every single day doing that so I can make time to attend 100% Triumph meetings to be able to just empower some of the students that we have here today. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So that season did not go to waste, amen? 
So since that time, I was not able to get back in the job market. Um, in fact, every single job that I applied to since 2022 May um, till last, to even till now, you know, um, I've, I've always received an, um, you know, an unfortunate letter and all that stuff. So it was very challenging. Um, and I really thank God during that period of me not having a job, God really broke, broke me. I thought that I, was, I quit that job just trying to focus on one or two things. But God actually did that to kind of like reveal a lot of things in my life, in my heart that I didn't know that was there. You know, complaining, not really trusting God. Sometimes we think that we, we do trust God, you know, until something is taken away from us or whatever, you know. So um, glory be to God. So let's fast forward. So recently, um, you know, I also train. I play tennis and all that stuff. So um, I was training with these two young men. Um, and their father happened just to take a liking to me. He said, wow, I like this young man's discipline, etc." So he asked me some series of questions. What do you do, work, school? I told him, IT, this and that, and third. He said, what do, you do, what do you do now? I told him the honest truth. I said, I do DoorDash. He said, wow, he said, beautiful. So he said, I need it, I wanna, get, I wanna keep you in touch with my sister. Um, my sister has some things going on, so she would like to put you on some, on some things. I said, okay. And actually that was the week of um, the, uh, God have mercy for, you know, the, the, the repositioning of, of divine miracles, right? So I, 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 that, was on, that was on Monday. So the next day she called me Tuesday and she told me all these things that I did not qualify for regarding IT and things that she wanted me to do. I mean, she said this, this, and all those things she said, you have to have like four or five certifications for it. She said, are you able to do those things? I said, yes. I said, yes. And I explained to her, she said, okay, 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 it's no problem, no problem, and all that stuff. And she said, she'll call me later. Um, the next day, I received a text from my father-in-law saying that God has, you know, um, settled your case. The following day on Thursday, she sent me a text. Oh, no, she called me again saying, um, again, we got to something to follow up with you. Are you still comfortable? Are you still okay? She went over all the things again. She asked me again, are you able to do all these things? Or like, are you willing to learn? I said, yes. She said, okay, that's beautiful. She now told me that, you know, we have, I have a startup, I'm trying to do some things. And she said, I believe you're the right person for it because I'm not looking for an experienced person. I want someone who has no idea because I want, I want someone to come in with a creative mindset. Wow. This role that you're going into is a creative thing. And it happens to be um, a global IT, you know, research wow. director um, position. Hallelujah. 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 It wasn't called that at, it wasn't called that at first. She said, that she, she said you'll be some IT type. She said, I, I said, uh, she, she said, actually, name, whatever you want to name the title, she said, that, that's what it'll be on the website. I said, good. <laughs> I'm going to put everything there. <laughs> so I put Global IT Research Director. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give God praise. And you know what that means. No one can get that. No one can get an IT job unless they go through somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for that. But before that, I said, ma'am, please, you know, with all, you know, with all the respect, I, I travel the nations, you know, for Jesus, you know, um, I serve God. That's number one. That's why I quit my job in the first place. I even had the privilege, tell, I even had the privilege and opportunity to tell her my story and all that stuff. So glory be to God. She said, yes, please. I want you to do all that stuff. This job will never be in an office. It's a completely virtual. Hallelujah. 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 So I just really want to give God thanks and all the praise and the glory for God's faithfulness. Those two years were long. It was tough. But I just want to thank God for just elevating me to this position. Hallelujah. And your testimony shall be permanent in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Pastor Daniel Go, come and testify to the goodness and glory of God in your life. Hallelujah. Somebody shout the loudest hallelujah. So I want to thank God for God himself. I want to thank God for my wonderful father and mother in the Lord. I want to thank God for my family. I want to thank God for GRA, for you all. Um, I also want to thank God for adding another year to my life this past week. Amen. Uh, hallelujah, brethren. Let's all stand for one quick moment. Just stand up. Everyone stand up. You see, we're all standing right now. That's to say that we have what? Legs. So even if you didn't come to share testimony, your testimony is what? I have legs and I can stand. Let's bow our, eye, let's bow our head and close our eyes to pray. Sweet Holy Spirit, we thank you. Lord, we give your name thanks and praise for all these testimonies, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for always giving us a reason to praise and glorify your name. And Father, we 
we ask and pray that as we have come here today to, to publicly declare the good things that you're doing in our lives, let testimonies never cease in any of our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We may all be seated. Now, if we can hit the lights, we're now going to show a small snippet of what God is using GRA Mission Squad to do in the nations of the world. So my prayer is that as you watch this video, open your heart, let the Holy Spirit minister unto you. Amen. Amen. Amen.
God. Praise the only living God that you have in this church. Praise him high. Praise him mightily high. There's a verse in Isaiah. A verse in Isaiah that says, in returning and rest, you are saved. We thank you, Lord, that you made us to appraise the world and return to this church where we have rest and where we are saved. And I believe I am saved, and I believe everyone is saved. Father, we thank you. On this basis, we will be paying our tithes and offerings. Believe in your word that says, whoever obey me, Whoever follow my ordinances, whoever follow my judgment, whoever follow my commandments shall be blessed. Amen. You will be blessed Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because I believe, I believe because I do it, that you have been paying your tithes and uh, your offerings regularly, without being told, without hearing any sermon. So in this wise, I pray that as you pay it, God will multiply it for you. In all areas of life, in all areas of your seeking, it shall be so. Those of us that has uh, three-figure uh, salary, four-figure salary, it will increase to five. Amen. It increase to six. Amen. It increase to seven. Amen. Benefits shall be attached. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. We may all be seated in heavenly places. We give God praise for all that he is doing in our midst. Hallelujah. We are victorious. 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 We are victor. Everybody lift it up. We are victorious. We are victorious. We are victorious. We are We are victorious. We are victorious. We are victorious. Let's take that one more time. We're professing that in our lives. We are victorious. We are victorious. We are victorious. One more time. We are victorious. We are victorious. We are victorious. We are victorious. We are victorious in Jesus' name as we mention his name. Every knee must. We are victorious. We are victorious in Jesus' name as we mention his name. Every tongue confess. We are victorious in Jesus' name as we mention his name. Every name 
We are victorious. We are victorious in Jesus' name. As we mention his name, every tongue. Sing, Jesus, do me better. He makes me greater. He takes me higher. He gives me fire. Jesus makes me prosper. He do me wonders. And he makes me richer. I know that bother. Jesus do me better. Yeah. He takes me higher. And he gives me fire. Jesus makes me prosper. He do me wonder. He makes me richer. I know that bother. We are victorious. Every knee, we are victorious. All right, that was practice. That was practice. So we have to do the real thing right now. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Did you hear all the testimonies that we heard earlier? The sum of it all is that we are victorious, that we are triumphant in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. And we know that we are more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. Hey. We are victorious in Jesus. Come on. We are, we are. We are victorious. Come on, come on, flow with the beat. Dance to the beat. Dance to the beat. Dance to the beat. We are victorious. from the top. Sing Jesus to me better. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey. He give me fire. He do me wonder. He makes me richer. I know that brother. Jesus do me better. He made me do me better, better, better. He made me greater, 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 greater. He take me higher, 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 higher. He give me fire, 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 fire. He made me press, 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 press. He do me wanna, do me wanna, do me wanna. I know that body. Here we go. We are victorious. We are victorious. We are victorious. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus do me better. Jesus makes me greater. Jesus do me better. He makes me greater. He takes me higher. We are victorious in huh? Come on. We are victorious. I 
I love it bang, I love it fear, I love it shame, I love it waka waka, I love it bang, I love it cry, I love it fail, I love it fail. Hey, we are Victoria in Jesus' name, as we mention his name, every knee must bow. We are Victoria. Just say fire, what? Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Hey, I just say come to praise your name for the things you've done for me. I just say come to praise your name for who you are to me. Don't go tired. I just say fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. One more time. I just say come to praise your name for the things you've done for me. I just say come to praise your name. Oh, who you oh, who are to you be? Are to me. Don't go tired. Don't stay fire. Holy Ghost fire. Hey, Holy Ghost fire. Your love for me is incredible. Your love for me is magnificent. Your love for me is incomparable. You be too much, oh. You be all God with your love. Your love for me is incredible. Your love for me is magnificent. Your love for me is incomparable. What? You be too much, oh. Hey, you be all God with your love. That's why I done played your name. That's why you ain't changed your That's why you hallelujah. Hey, you be too, you be too much. You be too much, oh. Your love for me is incredible. You say, I just a call to praise your name.
The Lord most high. Nobody can do me like Jesus. He's I don't know. The Lord most high. Nobody can do me like Jesus. He is El The Lord most high. Nobody can do me like Jesus. He's I don't The Lord most high. Prophesy to the north, prophesy to the south, prophesy to your problem, prophesy to your school, prophesy to your wallet, prophesy to your future, prophesy, 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 open your mouth and prophesy, open your mouth and prophesy. Prophesy to your future. Prophesy to your family. Prophesy to your destiny. Prophesy to your children. Prophesy to your mother. Prophesy to your father. Prophesy to your siblings. Prophesy to the church. Prophesy to America. Prophesy to Asia. Prophesy to Australia. Prophesy to Chicago. Prophesy to Washington, D.C. Prophesy to Baltimore. Prophesy to Virginia. Prophesy to Europe. Prophesy to Russia. Prophesy to Israel. Prophesy to Gaza. Prophesy to Palestine. Prophesy to Iran. Prophesy to Iraq. Prophesy to cancer. Prophesy to diabetes. Prophesy to your sickness. Prophesy to your joblessness. Prophesy to your exams. Prophesy to your exams. Prophesy to your exams. Prophesy to your weakness. Prophesy to your pain. Prophesy to your fears. 
prophesy to intimidation, prophesy to daddy tire, prophesy to GRL, prophesy to FDSF, prophesy to 5K Raw, prophesy to your future, prophesy a prophesy, prophesy a prophesy, prophesy to your Monday. Prophesy to your Tuesday. Prophesy to your Wednesday. Prophesy to your Thursday. Prophesy to your Friday. Prophesy to your Saturday. Prophesy to your Sunday. Prophesy to your babies. Prophesy to your womb. Prophesy to your brain. Prophesy to your exams. Prophesy to your movements. Prophesy to your car. Prophesy to your house. Prophesy and prophesy. Prophesy to your marriage. Prophesy to your sister. Prophesy to your brother. Prophesy to your pain. Prophesy to your fear. Prophesy to your lack. Prophesy to your wallet. God is able to do anything he promised. Hey, he makes a way where the seems no Anytime I call a party, God, God is able to do anything. He makes a way, he makes a way. Prophesy to every unwanted thing in my life. Talk to miracles. Go ahead and pray. Clap your hands. Anything I don't want in my life, I will not watch it. Whatever you don't want, you don't watch. I prophesy to anybody called Oluwato Emmanuel. I prophesy to anyone called Oluwa Emmanuel. I won't listen to me. Listen, listen. You don't prophesy until somebody can hear you. You are lying. Let no man eat of your fruit anymore. Everybody had him. And they did not see any change. And they were watching. Prophecy. Everybody's going to hear you. If they cannot hear you, that thing has never dropped. Open your mouth. I didn't say you should talk your secret out. But you got to say this thing loud. Oh, son. Stand down still. God, your father. Let there be light. Light, 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 light. And there was if your friend and people around you cannot hear you so that they can mock you and disbelieve you you are not prophesying open your mouth prophesy I prophesy to anyone called Oluwato C. Emmanuel I prophesy to anyone called Oroluwa Emmanuel. I prophesy to anyone called Toluami Emmanuel. I prophesy to anyone called Emiluwa Emmanuel. I prophesy to anyone called Atiluwa Emmanuel. It shall be well with you. You shall live and not die. You shall prosper. You are protected. You are preserved. You are the head, not the tail. We are not the loser. Above only, not beneath. Increase is your Lord. Progress is your Lord. Abundance is your Lord. 
you are experiencing open doors the hand of God is upon you the favor of God is upon you the spirit of God is upon you the power of God is upon you many doors are open to you you are wealthy you are prosperous you are healed every evil eye that is open against you they are blinded you are going forward God has made a way for you you will not experience setbacks thank you Lord in Jesus name we pray so let it be so let it be so let it be God is able to do anything he promised clap your hands and give him praise hold one person and say in the name of Jesus one person not persons say in the name of Jesus the predetermined purpose of God for your life before you are created is established go forward walk in abundance walk in increase be strong in the Lord and the power of his mind sickness out limitation out depression out oppression out fear out failure out madness out every plan of the enemy to silence you be silenced L less than seven days multiple breakthroughs good news must erupt in your life I command this soul because God said so it's already done shout hallelujah be seated we're going to be very brief. We have water baptism and folks need to go back. And thank you so much for everything. And now God is really giving you a retentive here, ability to stay with God and just have a good time. And most importantly, we want to give God thanks for what he has done and for helping us during this dominion. It's been a very sweet experience. We are very grateful. And we are utmostly grateful for all coordinators and all the leaders, uh, the... Uh, uh, Evangelist Yambasu, Pastor Oloa, Evangelist Beig, all coordinators from schools, and we're very thankful and all um, alumni for their support and all the dads and moms. Can we just clap our hands and appreciate? <laughs> Delphine, where are you going? Stay back. You're my daughter, I need to see you. Don't step out of that door, Delphine. You gotta go to walk? Huh? Yeah, thank you that you are not going. You just want to drop somebody off. Thank you, my precious daughter. So we're very grateful. Aren't we grateful to God? Let's thank him. We thank him for Nucleus Nation. We thank God for CJ. On all the team, the chosen folks, you know, the chosen folks came yesterday, isn't it? And we're very grateful. And they, they sang together with Isa. And that was a very beautiful one. Everything God has done. We are very grateful. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord, for what you have done for us. Hallelujah. We are grateful for salvation of souls, for rededication, for the infilling of the Holy Spirit, for divine organization. We are very grateful. Clap your hands. Don't let be on. Don't let's be part of the nine. This is a yearly event. We are trusting next year is going to be more greater than this in Jesus' name. If Jesus had not returned, when we are looking at the pictures, you will not be dead by that time. At that time, you will not be bowing to the devil in Jesus' name. You will not be standing against what you used to be for in the name of Jesus. Beautiful God. Beautiful God. So beautiful. You always be for all eternity. You be my son. You're beautiful to me. Where's that, Melola? You're beautiful to me. You always be yeah. you be my song. 
supposed to give me on the lyrics. Don't sing it. You already messed things up. You didn't support me. Yes. Thank you. You're beautiful. Thank you, promise to me. You'll be my song for all eternity. You're overtaking every part of me. Jesus, you're beautiful to me. So beautiful. You're so beautiful to me. You'll be my song. You'll be my song for all eternity. You're overtaking every part, every part of me. You're beautiful. Clap your hands. Jesus is so beautiful to me. All right. Father, we thank you once again. Take all the glory. Touch my lips with your fire. Open the hearts of your people. Thank you for doing so. Thank you for your blood. In Jesus' name. Amen. The vengeance of Jesus Christ, part 6 of 12. Very brief. For us to execute vengeance, we must have the words of God's vengeance in our mouth. Luke chapter 21 verse 15. Don't watch yourself drowned and destroyed. There is something your adversaries cannot stand against. Two things. A mouth and a wisdom. You got to use it. For I will give you, until God give you that kind of mouth, you're just using your ordinary mouth. One of the mouth God gave me is that while they are all dead, I'll still be here preaching the gospel. It's the mouth and the wisdom. I will not be here, striving around, having fun, preaching the gospel. I will give you a mouth and a wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gain say, no what? If I were you, I will stand up now and I will say, Father, please give me a mouth and a wisdom that all my adversaries put together, they cannot be able to gain say, no rest. You say, Father, in the name of Jesus, please give me a mouth and a wisdom which all my adversaries put together cannot be able to gain say, no resist in the name of Jesus. Ask God, He will give it to you. Father, I receive it. Matula Magato Stephelendos. Matula Magarabas. In Jesus' name we pray. Receive that mouth and that wisdom in Jesus' name. Please be seated. I'm going to make it brief, but you know, maybe only few people is, we get it. A mouth and a wisdom. They can't stop it. Anywhere you are, you, you just say, speak with that mouth and speak that wisdom out. Your adversaries will back off. God will give your head to me today and I will feed your carcass to the birds of the air. For who are thou, O uncircumcised Philistines, that you have start, that you have start, that you are standing to insult the God of heaven and earth? It was a special mountain of wisdom given to David. Who is this uncircumcised Philistines standing against and insulting or defying the armies of the living God? And David spake to the men that stood by him with the mouth and the wisdom. You can use the mouth and the wisdom God give you to knock down your adversaries. We are in the season of vengeance. Isaiah chapter 34, if you can give me another translation, verse 4, but vengeance must be there. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses 
for the controversy of Zion. Isaiah chapter 34 verse 8. In Isaiah chapter 59, 17. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate and an element of salvation upon his head and he put on the garment of vengeance. There is a special garment of what? Talk to me, children. I, I'm, I'm telling you, man. Brief. But I want you to get something. There is a special garment of what? Sometimes you see somebody wearing red. He put on the garments of vengeance for clothing. We're going to do the right thing. Yeah. No distractions. Garments of vengeance. For clothing. There are different comments you put on that represent the things you're doing. When you see somebody who's a nurse, you know. When you see somebody who's a, um, a British lawyer, if it's British, you know they have something they put on. The weak. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, they don't put on anything. When you see somebody who's just coming from, who's, just, who's in jail, and they're cleaning the whole place, and do, they're doing their um, community hours or whatever, you know they're in jail. They will not recognize you with the garment of destruction. When somebody is going for chemo, you know. But there is a there are garments of vengeance for clothing. They activate and make God to quickly respond on your behalf. And you're, you're, you're talking. You're not doing verbal communication. You are doing clothing communication. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Isaiah chapter 34 verse 5. Now Isaiah chapter 35 verse 4. Say to them that are of a fearful heart. Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with what? Vengeance. Even God with a recompense, he will come and save you. There are people you need to pray this kind of prayer. That God, come, come, come and help me. Come with vengeance. It's coming. It's coming. There was a man in Isaiah 3. The way he was dressed, everybody knew that this guy is not coming for peace. Who is this that coming from Edom? Edom is red. We dyed garments from Bosra. This that is glorious. When they ask you to put some certain things and call a code, you better, you better do it. This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength to fight. I put that there. I that speaketh in righteousness, mighty to save. Verse 2, look at it. Wherefore art thou red? Why are you red in your garment? Why the red? Sometimes you see people white and they are splashed with the blood of Jesus. Why are you red in your apparel? And thy garments like him that treaded in the wine fat. Grape juice. I have trodden the white press alone and of the people there was none with me for I will tread them in my anger. I'm not coming with peace. God is not coming with peace to your enemy and trample them in my fury and their blood. When God crush the enemy, their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments. You want to know why I'm red in the garment? That's the reason. And I will stain all my raiment. Why am I doing this? I want everybody to read verse 4. It's because of vengeance. Go, read it. For the day of vengeance. And if the day of vengeance has come, what is your own year? The year of the redeemed. The year for you to break through is 2024. The year for you to get the job is 2024. The year for you to pay off what you owe is 2024. The year for you to set your marital destiny is 2024. The year for you to start your business is 2024. What precedes your year? The day of vengeance precedes your year. Until vengeance, you will still be on the same spot. Anybody that might be responsible for any of us, like slow down, hold us down in life. Let the hand of God destroy them now. It's very important. Why is your word an instrument of judgment? Why? God is going to give you a mouth. 
Your words are command for angels. Angels will never do anything until you speak. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 9. Your words are command for angels. Chapter, which is chapter 5, verse 19, thereabout. Just let me look for the angels on that, in that chapter. Is there, I think verse 7 or something. Your words are command for angels. Thank you. It's because of the angel. Is it verse 5 or 6? I think it's 6. Hurry up. Let's go. Thank you. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Neither say before the angel. That it was what? Anything you say before the angel that is standing in front of you now. That angel will carry it out in Jesus name. But you cannot tell the angel who's an error because the angel will have gone. I say it to me, my wife, my children. And one person here. Should there be anyone blocking our way? Let the angels be dispatched and clear them off now. Whatever is planted in our future by the enemy. Let it be released on the adversary now. Angels don't like to be lazy. They like to act, but we don't give them job to do. You will have moved forward more than this because you are loaded. The bad things that happened shouldn't have happened. You didn't tell the angels to go. But it's never too late. You are moving forward. Your words command the integrity of God. Number two. It makes, it makes the integrity of God to be at stake. Because if God didn't do it, then we're going to call God a liar. God forbid God can never lie. Isaiah chapter 44, 25 to 26. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm almost done. I'm looking at the time. That's number two. Maybe I'll give you about whatever point. Let me see. How many points? Yeah, let me just give you, let me rush some points for you and that's it. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, that's just the way it is. God frustrates the tokens of the liars. That doctor who said something, they're lying. He make it the diviners mad. You know people are divining over your life. Divining means sorcerers. It means sorcerers. They're doing something. They're divining. It make them mad. So if somebody's looking at his Uji board and they want you to just be stricken in your head and begin to talk out of sense, God will strike them with madness. Don't be surprised when you see somebody running mad and you're saying, let's pray for the person. That's the person that wants you mad. That turn it wise men backward and make it their knowledge foolish. 26. That confirm the word of his servant and perform the counsel of his messengers. I am to speak. God is to perform it. Without me speaking, God has nothing. He has no raw material to perform. He has to confirm my word. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will not go backward again. Amen. The next amen that comes out of your mouth. God Almighty will release thunder to strike your adversaries. Amen. Number three. It makes you to know that you are somebody that comes from God. If I be a man of God. 2 Kings chapter 1 verse 9. You don't respect me. But if I truly be a man of God, if I am a, a man of God, are not preachers. If I'm a woman of God, they are not preachers. They're just of God. You are from God. When you are born again, you are of God. Are you getting what I'm saying? Then the king sent, and then that man of God come down. They want you to come. Look at it. They want you to come down. To come down to their level. Come down and be begging. Come down to the dung. Come down and be homeless. I'm not saying those who are homeless are just, they, they, they are not lucky. I don't believe in luck. But it's not a good thing to be homeless. We've been there severally. Uh, 
our outreach department. I've been there personally. I mean, it's terrible when we watch what goes on there. I rather prefer to sleep in a car. It's a good place, you know, I mean, compared to the nations. And we want to thank of America. But it's not something that's edifying. I've seen a professor there before. Professor that finished from the U.S. I think some people went with me the other time that we saw a professor. Who are those people? A professor. She, she showed, he showed us his, his diploma. You will not end up in asylum, whatever center. Look at it. They want you to come down. And Elijah answered and said to the captain, if I be a man of God, let forgiveness be your lot. Because that's what you will pray. He said, let us forgive them. Elijah said, no, this is not about forgiveness. Let fire come down because you want to bring me down. After graduation, IT in college, you now want me to start working at Dollar Store for two years because I'm jobless. That ain't happening. Talk to your neighbor, say, that ain't happening. If I be a man of God, let what? Fire come down from heaven and, and I... And there came down water. What was it the fire did? And what? These people are too much for you. You need the power of God. It's 51 people that come to attack one person. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? It makes you to be bold. The righteous, Proverbs 28 verse 1, are as bold as a lion. When you are bold, the lion nature comes out of you. If you are not bold, you are not a lion. You are a sheep. And when a sheep meets with a lion, somebody has to die. My father and the Lord told me that the prayer of a lion is that God, just show me the prey and back off. Show me the prey. Don't help the prey. Don't help me. Leave the rest to me. That's why it's good to tie it. Oh, God bless you. Hallelujah. I love it. Somebody shout hallelujah. The wicked flee. You see how you are running Elter Skelter? You used to live in Minnesota, the twin city, Minneapolis, Annapolis, Indianapolis. From all your police, even you can't be a police. And you find yourself in Maryland. You keep changing major, thinking you will make it. The next one you change to now, you are not even, you have not even reached up to, I don't know where you are. You are running elter skelter. What's wrong with you? From one man's house to one sister's house. You live with your cousin. You live with your friend. You live with your father. You live with your mother. You live with your half sister. Running elter skelter. I want to prophesy over your life. Your days of running elter skelter is over. The Bible said the wicked will run at the sound of a drop of a leaf. It's a curse. Numbers, let's go there. When a leaf drop like this, they don't want to, they'll be running. You're not the wicked. You are not the wicked. You are not the wicked. Say it to yourself, you're sleeping, you're thinking something else. Say, I am not the wicked. <laughs> Say, it is the wicked that will run. Say, I won't run from the wicked. Say, I will not run from the wicked. Say, I will not terminate that job. It is the one that's my adversary that must be terminated. You can't intimidate me. I'll be the one to intimidate you. I know it's your hotel, but we are paying to use it. You can't say we should close by nine. I know the contract says we should close by nine, but we, don't, we, don't, we are not closing. So the guy came to me and said, this is the contract. I said, I don't care what the contract says. We will finish the meeting. So we did it first time, second time, third time, third week, and after four, he said he knew what to do. He went to go and shut off the power source. Remember? And he said, we should all leave. I said, come here. In the name of Jesus, this year you die. Are you with me? To the owner. I don't know where he is now. I don't have to investigate I say it to his face. He said, you are talking to me that way? I say, who are you? I say, I. Say, I don't say, who are you? I say, who are you? You know, I, the African tone. African lion backed up tone. No, who are you? Not who are you. Who are you? Who are you? 
Say the way you are quiet. Say it. Say it. <laughs> you don't watch a different movie. That's why the problem is. Say the way your mama, your glorious mama, anointed mama used to say it. Say it again. Who are you? Say the one that our mother used to say, nonsense. Has your mother never said nonsense before? Shalewa. When she comes to meet you in middle school and put on the wrapper and call you from the hallway in between classes. You are posing to act as if you are born in Delaware. And your mother said, Victoria! In a... <laughs> Beautiful mother, clap your hands. Beautiful. Don't forget, don't forget your root. Are you getting what I'm saying? Is this be isn't it beautiful? Don't forget all those things. Those mothers, they re they really they really beautiful. Spank your butt and do all kinds of things. Clap your hands, man. Yeah. And your father comes with jumpsuit. The top, the top, the top, the top African top. You know that African top? And then the pants. Some of the pants will not go down. And he wears slippers on his on, on May 4 to come and see you. I say, Chukwe Mecca! You have started again. You this took away maker. And you're like, oh my God. Oh my God, you could have called me Jeff. <laughs> Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta be bored as look at this. And upon them that are left a life of you, I will send faintness into their hearts in the lands of their enemies. And the sound of what? A shaking leaf shall what? Don't be running away from stuff. This is what's supposed to be happening to your enemy. Just when they, what? A leaf shake like this, they will run. A shaking leaf. The wicked run it when no mice pursuing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We can't be having a meeting and we have a neighbor there and the neighbor is an occultic person and we run away from the neighbor. No, man. The neighbor needs to run and say, I can't, I, I can't do my voodoo again. I can't, I can't do my voodoo. I need to park. Don't be saying, ah, I don't like it, you know. It's a witch that is close to us. Ah, we can't stay there. No, you go there and dispossess them. Dispossess them. Let them hear you pray. Anyone in this area. That is not making Jesus Lord and Savior. In seven days, let them suffer a killer headache and a killer migraine. Now, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. You understand what I'm saying? And they are hearing that kind of prayer. They have to leave. Because if they don't leave, they'll be hearing some boom, boom. They are driving boom, boom. Angels will be at work. But the righteous as what? And you have to be like a lion. You don't see. Let me tell you something. You, a lion don't turn away from anybody. Yes, sir. Lion, they pee around their territory. They will pee around it. That is to say, don't go near. So, an animal's no smells. You know, your dog. Your dog will be using his. his there are some things your dog is saying that he, because they're very smart. Their olfactory system is really working. Is it olfactory for the nose? Yes, yeah. So they can they can smell stuff. So, lion will pee around and say, no go, no go here. When you put the blood around yourself and say, hey, I'm just warning you, this area, no go here. Your life becomes a no go here. You're checking into an hotel and you, a little drop, boo, don't go. I don't know who slept here last on this bed. You can be effeminate, you can be gay, you can be whatever. The spirit that is contrary to the Holy Spirit, I'm here, out. The light shines in darkness. I'm not here to negotiate. You mess up when I'm sleeping around 2 a.m. With all kinds of nightmare, you are dead. 
you are graveyard dead. When I leave this room, the next person that sleep on this bed, you must be born again less than three days. It's a must. Say, hey! Eh. My go pee for Londas. Turn to your neighbor and say, who, who are you? I don't want to say who be you. Say, who are you? I mean, who are you? Say, 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 say like, 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 I don't know. Say, who are you? You got to be bold. Evangelism, bold. I'm going to puffing something to you. Tell them, bro, I'm talking to you. Listen, can you cut this off first? This is about your eternity. You're, you're playing with your eternity. Hell or heaven. I love you. That's why I'm telling you this. And I don't want you to go to hell. Relax. Let me talk to you. You ain't going to listen to me. Well, I'll shake the dust off my feet against you. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? Somebody came to, I, I didn't say you should do it. Oh, don't do it because that's not your level. Somebody came to tow my car. I drove down there. I followed him. And I said, well, I said, I, I said well, why do you need to return that car? He said, no, since it's already hung, hung to the something. I said, you cannot. I said, you, let me tell you one thing. I'm a Christian, right? And I'm a born again. And I'm a child of God. And I'm a lion. And I'm from Africa. So everything is against you. This was about 2 a.m. My wife was pinching me. I said, don't pinch me. He asked this. I said, I have stuff. I said, now, if you don't drop this thing, now, I'll pay. But when I pay, sorrow will be on that money. Death will be on that money. Fear will be on that money. Cancer will be on that money. Shame will be on that money. When you take that check, I transfer all negatives that is in my life to you. Take the check. The guy walking. I don't know what speak to him. He took the check. I drove off. But he can't take it immediately. I think he was afraid. You can't be hearing that kind of words. No, no, no. What's wrong with this guy? The righteous as what? You are not a dog. You are the righteous. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And there's a place where you need to demonstrate your lion nature. I'm not a pig. I don't dwell in sin. I'm not a dog. I don't meet with people. Sex around. I'm not a goat. I'm not rebellious. I'm not just a sheep. I know when to be meek. I know when to be humble because I'm wrong. I'm not a snake. I'm not trying to snitch and be. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I know who I am in Christ. I am a liar. So when you see me shout hallelujah, I'm roaring. Somebody roar like a lion. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't let them bully your children in school. You're soon going to be parent. Don't let the teacher use you to be mean to your children because they don't have classroom control. And they know you are from Africa. And they know anytime they report to African children or Asia, African parents or Asian parents, they will go and discipline their children. So, they don't have classroom control. They want you to be just beating your children without them doing anything bad. And those children will end up knowing that you are weak and your judgment is always wrong. How many of you have been disciplined wrongly before? Raise your hand. But you can't explain it. I am one of you. You can't explain it. Nobody believes you. I think I'm not making sense. Let me just round off. Yeah. Because everybody was just kind of quiet like, okay, well, I, I don't think he knows that Popeye will close at three. KFC will close at three. So I think KFC, what time do KFC close today? Huh? Stand up on your feet. I wish we can continue. Okay, let's see one more. Can we say one more? Have I, have I cut people?
people off on MC before because there's no network? Yeah. Because folks will say, oh, we can't do it. He's always, he's always making, he's always trending that he's going to do it. He cannot do it. Okay, one more. Let's do one more. Now, Prov Psalms 81, look at what it says. Open your mouth wide. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Now, please look for the verse for me. Is it verse 10? Psalms 81 verse 10, please. Open your mouth. Aha, uh -huh. look at what it says. I am the Lord thy God. Which brought thee out of the land of Egypt? What do you do to your mouth? Are you mind, everybody? What will God do? You know what God wants to fill with your mouth? Command. For you to have it the way you say it. Open your mouth, what? I shall live and not die. Shout it out now. Something is wrong on this side. I think there is a casket spirit that follows somebody on this side. If you want to throw it to your neighbor, say, I shall live and not die. Clap your hands and give God praise. Watch out for those who say, I shall live and not die. They are sick. They are getting ready to check out. Open your mouth, what? What will God do? Now, I dare you shout and open your mouth wide. Hallelujah! This job is mine! I will have grants totaling up to a million dollars this year. Two years after my graduation, I am getting married. If you cannot say it loud, you cannot have it. She's getting it. She's getting it. As a matter of fact, you have gotten it. is the way to do this stuff. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Open thy mouth what? And that entire will fill it. God will fill it. God will fill your mouth with wealth, with joy, with peace, with power, with success, with excellence, with favor, with healing, with miracles, with righteousness, with dominion. You think evil of me, wish evil of me, you will be down. Yeah. Instrument of cruelty and instrument of weapon will be released to all our enemies now. Yeah. Enemies that are following us up and they are watching our programs just to watch for our downfall. The last program you're going to watch now, if you don't repent by the sword of the Lord, this is your last program or the other that you will watch. You are dead. You are dead. You are graveyard dead. Sin make you to be intimidated. You lose your lion nature when you're a sinner. The righteous are what? Those are things sin will do in your life. Sin will make you to be hiding under a tree. Adam, when he sinned, when God called him, what was he doing? And what was he wearing? Mm -mm. What was he wearing? What was he wearing? No, no. When you talk in Hebrew, you ask cancer. What was he wearing? God will help you. What was he wearing? Even you. What was he wearing? Relax, time has gone. He was wearing apron of fig leaves. He wasn't wearing fig leaves. Apron. He made apron from what? 
Okay. Have you seen apron before? Where can apron cover? What about if he turned the back? What will you see at the back? If he's no, okay, listen. If he's a black guy, what will be the butt? What will be the color of the blood? <laughs> Are you fighting with somebody? If he's white, what will be the color of the butt? So let us talk to him, Abraham. Adam, you need God. All this apron won't work. Don't just turn your back. Because by the time you turn your back and you are shaking things, we're going to see some black things or some dark whites or some whites or some purple or some red. Your enemy shall be put to shame today. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know how we can continue. I think we should just stop there. Open your mouth wide. Because, you know, in, in Exodus chapter 4 verse 11, I thank God that we, we ended. God said, I will be with your mouth. Exodus chapter 4 verse 11. I'm going to be with your mouth. So when you say, I'll pack you up. You will have, you see, you will have progress. Hey, this is my job. This interview. They made a mistake by calling me for interview. I'm not going there to compete with anybody. It's my job. What makes you think you get this job? They are asking you. It's not about make me think I have this job. I already have it. And, and the other person is laughing. And you are praying the Holy Ghost. You can't sit with me in the plane, though, if you are a witch. <sighs> because <laughs> uh, by the time I start praying, yeah, and I've, I put demonstration to my prayer. When you are eating, and I'm not eating. <laughs> okay, how would you feel? Jane together. We are sitting together in a plane like this, and I'm doing. And you look up. against what? God said, I'm going to be with your mouth. Read it. Let's go. And the Lord said unto him, who had made man's mouth? Or who made get the dumb or the deaf or the sane or the blind? Have I not the Lord? God will not make you blind. Verse 12. Now. Someone said now. Read on. Therefore, go get the job. Walk at you said. Walk at United Nations. Walk in this sea. I will be with what? That's why you must be on Sunday because you have lost opportunities. You will have used your mouth. You've lost opportunities. I have too. Recovering lost opportunities. <laughs> clap for Jesus if you want to clap for him. Go back to the scriptures 4 and 12. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? I will be with your mouth and teach you what? That's why you should open your mouth wide and I'll feel it. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, as I open my mouth to speak your word, let it manifest without any restraint right now in the name of Jesus. Less than 24 hours, I will see what I say in the name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Spirit first. Oh God. Oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm going to ask people to come and give their life to Jesus or rededicate their life before I do so. Please 
Look at this. Isaiah 53 verse 7. Look at your Jesus. Jesus will not talk. They kill him. Why? Because he wants to be killed. Read it everybody. One, two. Yet what? Yet what? Yet what? What happened to him? And what? So what happened? Jesus did not open his mouth. If he has opened his mouth. Now, Jesus just opened his mouth one time. John chapter 18. Look at it. Look for verses. Is it five, five, verses 5 to 8. Where he said, it is I. Thank you. Thank you. Verse 5. Let's go. How many words was that? Three words. And Judas also which betrayed him stood with him. What happened in verse 6? As soon then as he has said unto them, I am he. What happened? And what? How many words? The 10 words I'm saying is too much. It's just too much. Three words. What happened to them? You are missing out. There is nothing that you want on this heart that God cannot give you. Everybody had Jesus. Let no man eat of your fruit anymore. You got to open your mouth. Everybody had Joshua. Let's pray. You can't speak. Don't you have names? I mentioned my wife's name, my children's name, my name. I'm doing that intentionally to cause a steer in the spirit. I say, back off. I'm using the power of God that say, let there be light. And what? Period. No questioning. No doubt. No worries. If you cannot say it, you, have, you are mischievous. You must be a devil. Why can't you say what you want to say? Why can't you say it? You plan evil for somebody. What you want to say, you know it's evil. You can't release it. I am healed is not evil. I prosper is not evil. I go forward is not evil. But when you want to marry somebody else's wife, that one is what? You will not be able to say that. When you want to leave this place and go and sniff drugs, you can't say that one. That when I finish meeting, I want to go and what? Do drugs. Can you be able to say that one with a microphone? If you cannot say it, it's mischievous. You got to say stuff. Speak to your healing. Speak to your children. Speak to your future. Speak to your destiny. Clap your hands and give God praise. And top it up with praying in the Holy Ghost. Somebody came here. Somebody came here. And some of you know the story. He said he walked in the White House, isn't it? Isn't it? Where is uh, Elizabeth? Isn't it? You remember? Oh, you forget Elizabeth? Okay, beautiful. Because, hey, you know, I already talked to you about this issue. I says, you get it? Because I, I renounce the spirit of forgetfulness in your life. And the guy said, they told me by December 25, I will be what? Dead. And he was so scared. And somebody said, come to this church. That is where things are canceled. Were you there too? Uh, I just said, I said, he said, pray for me. I said, I'm not praying for you. You will worship with us here. It's a matter of 25. And this is where you will do your crossover. He said, I said, pray. I said, no prayer. I already said it. I spoke it. The man worship with us on both days. Isn't it? And the person that said it will die, anytime that person say that thing, it will happen. Anyone that says you will not marry, Anyone that says you will die. Anyone that says you will not graduate. Anyone that says you will not get a job. Anyone that says you will not buy a house. Let the grand open up and swallow them alive. Oh my God. I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Unto you, O oh God, do I 
and lift up my soul unto you, O God. Do I lift up my soul, O my God? I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let no my enemies triumph. Psalms 25 verse 1. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You're not born again. You want to be born again. Come to the front. Hurry up. We don't have too much time. Yes. 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 Hurry up. Yes. Yes. God bless you. Yes. 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 You will not be a barbecue for the devil. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Every evil desires and aspersions over your life comes to an end. Clap your hands. We're waiting for somebody to join them. Yes. Your star has to shine. 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 I'm still expecting somebody. Time up with the devil. Time up with shame. Time up with fear. Time up with depression. Time up with oppression. Time up with affliction. Come. As they give you that form, I lend you to feel it because I want to start praying for you. I want to start praying for you. You need to write your prayer requests in those things. I want to start praying for you. You begin to see miracles in your life. You begin to see miracles in your life. Write your needs there. Take joy, my King, in what you hear. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Everybody in front, say this prayer. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you, God of gods, Lord of lords, Prince of peace, Rose of Sharon, Lion of the tribe of Judah, my future, my maker, my helper, I surrender my life to you. Forgive me my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. No more guilt. No more shame. No more depression. I am free. For it is written, anyone that the son set free is free indeed i will not lose my mind i will not lose my mind i will not lose my life i thank you for the sweet spirit of the almighty god father i appreciate you be exalted be magnified let the power of the holy spirit fill me let every spell and incantation and divination against my life be cancelled by the blood of the Lamb. It's already done. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout Jesus. Yeah. Go back to your seat. Be blessed. Can we all stand please? Clap your hands. Let's go back to our seat. Glory to God. We are not clapping. Listen to me right now. We're going to pray one prayer. The second prayer. Tight as we come. We're done by the mercy and grace of God. Psalm 56 verse 9. 50, oh yes, anointing oil. Thank you, sir. Now that's the third thing we do. I will anoint everybody here. Glory to God. Yeah. A touch not anointing. Read this scripture like a lion. Read it. When we your enemies turn, no, you're getting it. When will your enemy turn back? Thank you. Not when I whisper. Get thee behind me, Satan. When I cry unto thee, then shall my enemies turn back. I don't know what.
what you're going to cry. Maybe you're going to cry, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, deliver me. Father, help me. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Back off from me. Or you want to cry, blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Some say, Father, I cry unto thee. Save me. Blood of Jesus. Jesus. Pray the polar bars. God is for me. God is for my wife. God is for my children. God is for Adiolua Emmanuel. God is for GRA. Father, deliver me. Jesus. Save me. In Jesus, let me pray. You are not praying. After Jesus told Simon, give it to me 15, please. Chapter 15. He said, Come. He started coming. And when he started coming, the devil started moving physical things. He started sinking. The first thing Peter said that, Listen, Papa, this is not the time to pray in the spirit. This is the time. It's too late. This thing is dropping. The only thing I can say is that. What? Lord? I, I can't pray in the spirit now. It's too late. I can't pray in the spirit. This thing is going to happen 30 seconds. Shame is going to come. Death is going to come. Fear is going to come. You just have to save me. I know I doubted. I know I don't believe. I know I mess up. But I can say three words. What are those three words? What happened in verse 31? Verse 31. Let's see what Jesus did. And two weeks after. You are waiting until you are doing a job that's less than your career. And you are now even working with the adversary. That's disgraceful. When you have a father to cry to. It's a disgrace. It's a level of your faith. You need to cry to God. Three words. When I cry, what will happen to my enemies? They turn back. This I know. God what? Immediately, the cry caught Jesus' attention. Because if you don't cry, God will watch you sing. Just three words. I don't know how you guys pray. Lord, save me! This joblessness is over. This depression is over. This failure is over. This loneliness is over. This threat is over. This failure is over. This poverty is over. Somebody say, Lord, save me. Go ahead and pray. Lord, save Olua Tosi. Save our Olua. Save Tolua Nimi. Save me Olua. Save Adi Olua. Save my family. Save the GRA family. Save America. Lord, save us. Save me. Save me. Save me. Save me. When I go out, save me. When I come in, save me. Save me from reproach. Save me from disgrace. Save me from fear. Save me from failure. Save me from depression. Save me from oppression. Save me from affliction. Save me from barrenness. Save me from cancer. Save me from ulcer. Lord, save me. Table sitters. Matelobes. In Jesus' name we pray. Less than 24 hours we will receive help. Starting from now, you receive help. Starting from now, you receive help. Starting from now, we receive help. Can we give him thanks? Put your hands together for Jesus.
let's appreciate him give him all the praise we have a God that is near that we can call on him any day any second any minute any hour or any season shout hallelujah they put a gun at your nose Lord save me accident is about to happen what do you say do you whisper it or you cry it clap your hands and give God praise You're the silent and the feet of the pain light. You're the one who can give love and the life. You're the one who can still will be right. Cause you're the one who can see and will judge. You are. You're silent and still as the pain light. You are. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Sweet Spirit of the Father, you are welcome. You are Lord of the hearts of the Father. So reveal yourself as you see. Is here. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Holy Spirit, you are here. When you hit the car, is there. On the road, is there. In your mess, is there. When you cry to him, is there. He's going to assist you. He's going to help you. He's going to support you. He's going to surround you. The job is yours. They will call you this week. They will call you this week. Elizabeth, your days of delay and joblessness is over. You will never manage any job again. You're the silent and the seen I reveal light. You're the one who can kill and you make a life. You'll bring violence and still it will be right. Cause you're the one who can see and will judge. Hey, hey, you're the silent and the still and the main night. You're the one who can kill and make it. Vengeance song. The song of vengeance. Take it again. You're the silent. You're a silent and still as the midnight. You're the one who can kill and make it alive. You bring violence and still and will be right. You're the one who can see. You're the silent. You're a silent and still as the midnight. You're the one who can kill and make it alive. Your profile and the steel will be right. Cause you're the one who can see and will judge right. Are you there? It's moving. It's walking. It's rearranging. It's fixing. It's blessing. It's resting. It's clearing. It's healing. It's delivering. Receiving up. Receiving up. Receiving up. Open your mouth wide. Shout hallelujah! Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Beautiful God. Beautiful God. All titles come to the front. Beautiful God. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Sweet Spirit of the Father, you are welcome. You alone are the heart of the Father. So reveal yourself as we sing. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit. Sweet Spirit of the Father, you are welcome. You alone are the heart of the Father. 
Wilson. When last did you rehearse with your team in University of Maryland? Huh? When last did you rehearse? Huh? Huh? Saturday. They thought they can kick you out. Because they did. And I told you, they will beg you to come in. Clap your hands. Listen, I don't know who you are clapping to. You don't clap for me. You better clap for Jesus because I don't even know anybody in the department. <laughs> Whoa. All of us are the same. That's why you always see me at the, around. Don't look like somebody is doing it. I ain't doing nothing. I'm only trading in what God said we should all do. He said we should open our mouth wide. The young man came to me and said, No! If you will do this, you will do this, they will take you back. They kicked him out. They took him back. Anyone that want to kick you out when you apply for any job, for any contract, for any business, whether myself, my wife, my children, or anybody whose amen is loudest, they will beg you to come back here. By fire, by fire, by thunder, by thunder. By hammer, by hammer. Ezekiel chapter 21 verse 14, TLB. Be a tighter. Tightly don't hell why. Let's go there. Tightly what? You go there, go and give your time. I don't have to know nothing about it. Do it in the spirit of the fear of God. Do it because they love God. Don't let anybody pressure you. If you want to give a check, use your hand to write a check. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's between you and your... Because your father that set you where shall give you what? Period. Fear God. You there? <laughs> Honey, you there? Fear God. Don't let anybody press you into stuff. God is more than enough. He knows your number. He knows your account. He knows what you are doing. He, see what this young lady is doing. No, no, do it. See your fingers. Don't let anybody see your password. So, so did you see the... Oh, you are texting? I thought you are giving something. But, but really, act as if you are giving your tight on tight little... Did you see what he's saying? That's why we bring out our what? What are you using to type stuff in? That's it. And your fingers is on your... That's what we are praying for. That this same hands you are using to type... Your, your, ink, your whatever tight in there that something will happen to these hands so let's, let's do it let's read the first line we don't have time now, now go and read. we want to prophesy Ezekiel chapter um, chapter 21 verse verse 14 let's go <laughs> okay do you know as you are clapping you are prophesying Listen, listen. I want you to put Mr. Poverty, Mr. Death, Mr. Rejection, Mr. Failure, Mr. Shame, and Mrs. Affliction, and Mrs. Backward Motion. You will put them in between your hands. So you will now smash them. Say, Father, because these hands has honored you, in tithing and in offering I tight here and you know my father you do know that I am not a liar because if I lie it's a lying spirit from the devil the devil is a liar you know I'm not lying Jesus is the way and the truth so you know I'm truthful because I'm truthful let every enemy package for me. I place them prophetically in between my hands. As I clap my hands vigorously, I smash them. Clap your hands. Hey guys. Shout hallelujah. Michael, my son, 
You know what happened. You send me the testimony. Do you? Jobless. He came here jobless. It's not a good when a man is jobless. And he has things he want to do with his life. Are you still jobless? No, you got, I got to hear you. Can we give the credit to who deserve it? Shout hallelujah. One more prayer, verse 17, prophesy. I don't know clapping of hands, we are prophesying. Is that TLB? Let's read it. I give you less than 30 seconds. Smash poverty. Smash sickness. Smash destruction. Smash failure. Add some praying in the Holy Ghost to it. In Jesus' name we pray. I launch you into plenty. My son, my wife, my children inclusive. We are launched into abundance. I told you to sit down and hear God's word. Everybody's hearing me right now. Very shortly. I wish I can give a week or month. But all I can say is very shortly. What you can never get since you are born. The kind of blessing that has never happened to you since you step in on this planet will begin to happen your way in Jesus' name. Your hands will never know sorrow. Your hands will not be folded. Your hands will never be folded. Your hands will never fail. Anyone that wants to multiply your life with a zero to make you vanity, because two billion multiplied by zero equals what? Oh, any friend, any family member around your life, they just want to multiply your life with zero just to cancel you by the blood of the Lamb. They are canceled now. Anyone that bring a one to you because they want you to stay the same. If you are 10 billion, 10 billion multiplied by one, what is it? So any relationship you have, you are the same. Nothing is changing. Anyone in your life that always want to bring their body to you and make you stay the same, they are out of your life now. Your star begin to shine. Get the job. Get the increase. Get the wealth. Get the breakthrough. Go forward. Let your businesses prosper. Let there be a reversal. No more losses. No more shame. No more rejection. No more failure. No more backwardness. No more depression. No more oppression. No more affliction. It's already done. Go back to your seat. Anointing. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Anointing, please. I dare you shake somebody's hands and say congratulations. I dare you use that fresh hand. That fire-filled hand to congratulate somebody. You alone know the heart of the Father. So reveal yourself as we sing. The, the, the wells of your ancient mystery. Oh, God Almighty. Let the eyes of my inner man be open. Let the floodgates of your head the anointing now, please. Yes. 
Okay, listen, guys. Listen. Without faith, the oil will just be like oil. Second Kings chapter 9. Young man, come here. He came. Take this box of oil. Elisha the prophet called one of the children of the prophet. You can sit down, please. Anointing will be here now. I need the anointing oil, please. I need the pastor to bring me anointing oil, quickly. God of thy loins, take this box of oil in thy hand. And go to 1933 Red Branch. What happened in verse 2? Do I have the pastor bring me the anointing oil? Thank you, sir. And the desk, please. And when thou camest thither, look out there, Jehu, in the name of Jesus. God will mention my name, your name. Look out there for Jehu. You have to be positioned when the anointing oil starts, anointing service, because God is not looking for everybody. Look out for somebody. Look out for Akintaya. Look out for Adiolu Emmanuel. Look out, 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 look out. All of them, they are not there for the same purpose. Some want to sell things. Some want to advertise. Some want to do stuff. But there are some specific people you should look out for. Look out. Now, in the name of Jesus, God, we put your name. See that all of you in front here. And make him arise from among his brethren. Now, it is gonna be, it's not going to happen to you. Even if I want to do it, it's you, I'll do it too. Or you. Or I love everybody. Or you. I don't even know if I'm going to do it for all of you and you. you and you. Because, you know, but like we're just doing play. You get it? Like theater, like movies. You get it? Um, because she's sitting in the middle. And make her arise from among his brethren. This is, this is it. While everybody's down, the anointing makes one to what? Arise. Among what? So she's not equal to everybody. We used to be. We used to go to the same school. We used to wait for Brother Yambasu Evangelist Yama to give us a ride. We used to eat together something. We used to share together something. We used to, we used to, but now things have. The anointing has made me to rise above what? You will rise above everybody. They used to go for chemo together. But you, not you again. Anointing make you rise. You share the same bad day with them but by the anointing you rise above them Amen. go in and make him rise up, up from among his brethren and carry him to what that is 1933 the most holy place carry him to an inner chamber and take the box of what If you don't come to church, you miss it. If that's the day God wants to anoint you, and they don't they say, Jehu is absent. Take the boss of oil. What do you do? No, anoint his legs. Anoint his hands. Anoint his breast. Don't let any prophet say, I want to anoint you. <laughs> Pastor Dabo, you are laughing. Where do the anointing oil goes? I'm done with my assignment. I'm not talking to you after. Open the door and what? After the anointing, what do you do? Because except God didn't send me or you have a bad motive, my job is done. After this anointing, royalty will come from your life. Excuse me. Uh, how are you, my daughter? God bless you richly. Uh, how's everything? 
Wow, I your mind. You didn't tell me you're walking here. Okay, well, Daddy, what do you come to do here? I want to see the CEO. <laughs> Daddy, thank you so much. Okay, so um, I'll talk to you later. Wait for me. I want to see the CEO. <laughs> Daddy, hello. Daddy, stop bothering me. I say, I'll see you later. I want to see the CEO. Daddy. Daddy. I am the CEO. Why can't you shout the loudest amen? If you tell me you are the CEO, I will not be shocked. I'm telling you. I will not be saying, eh. I will just say, Shebe, I've told you. Somebody say, Shebi, I've told you. Don't, don't worry about Shebi, don't worry. Well, we know what we're talking about. You know your star will shine? With your specs. He's a cool guy, isn't it? I love his songs, man. Himself and who? Himself and who? And this, this guy is good, man. Emanuela, Emanuela, this guy, they're cool. Did you watch the song? My goodness. My God will lift you high. By this anointing, you will rise above all your contemporaries. Now, what happened in verse 4? Look at what happened in verse 4. Verse 4, look at it. So the young man went, even the young man, the prophet, went to Ramoth. He went to 933. And the young man is that attire. And so, verse 5, and when he came behold the captains, everybody was sitting on the same level. Same song, same car, same shame, same fear, same chemo, same depression, same oppression. Ah, you will rise above them. They don't marry in that family. They don't retain something good. They miss it in that family. They never rise there. You will be the only one to rise in the name of Jesus. They always drop out. You will not be a drop out. Excuse me, GRA. Hey, GRA. I have an errand to thee, oh captain. Because we used to be captain, all of us. Somebody has to be king. And Jehu said, you see someone that's hungry? Always in front. Always evangelizing. Yeah. Why can't somebody else say, Jehu is the first one to say, Unto which of all us? They say, because you are the one who respond. To thee, oh captain. He was not a king. He was what? What about everybody else? Talk to me. What about everybody else? Captains. And he arose. And he went to the house. 93. And he poured what? And said, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, You are no more a captain. I have anointed thee king over what? Even over just by the hoy. See what happened. Verse 7. Look at it. And thou shalt smite the house of whatever. Verse 8. Come on. So it takes the anointing for you to smite Jezebel. You get it? It takes the anointing for you to operate what? Vengeance. Do you get it? All right. Now I can't be doing what I'm doing, saying what I'm saying if I'm not anointed. Don't try it. It's an advice. Don't try it. For the whole house of these, verse 9. Come on, we'll, let's go. And I'll make verse 10. Come on, let's go. And the dogs, verse 11. Read that up. Then Jehu came forth to the servants of his Lord. When they see something on his head, the oil was wet. The oil was what? Excuse me, sir. It's all well? Because this prophet is asking like a mad what? And he said, you know the man. You know his lifestyle. He's mad. He said, you are lying to us. We were together. Your head was dry. See verse 12. Your head was dry when we were together. And now your head is wet with oil. Look at it. It is false. You are lying. You are different. Tell us now. And he said, thus and thus speak it to me. Say Thus saith the Lord, I have anointed thee. What? So what happened in verse 13? I want everybody to please read it. Then they slowed down. 
And they took every man his word and put it under the top of the and blew with trumpet saying. Your contemporaries will be subdued. You can't test that position and be less. Stand up. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will never know downward motion again. Are you ready for the anointing? Say, my father, my God, I can be equal to my contemporaries. By your anointing, I'm rising high. I like anyone that wants the Jehu anointing to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. I can be equal to my cousin. I can't be equal to my friends. It's not possible. I can't go through their sickness. I can't go through their disease. I can't go through their shame. My marital destiny cannot be delayed. I cannot experience divorce like my sister. It's not possible. I can't be at the level with them. I can't borrow with them. I can't go to prison with them. I can't take chemo with them. I can't lack with them. I can't fail with them. By this anointing, I rise. Let the trumpet blow. I need you to blow the trumpet on the keyboard for me with a song. Let the trumpet blow. This is not the time for drums now. It's a time for snare. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Blow the trumpet saying, God has changed my story. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Increase the volume. Blow the trumpet. Increase the volume. Increase the volume. Blow the trumpets. The Spirit of God is here. The Spirit of God is here. We are changing level. My child cannot lie at the hospital. My wife cannot lie at the hospital. My children cannot be there. I reject it. By the anointing, I'm out. Where is my daughter, Jessie Ferrami? Has she left? Beautiful. Some of you, you might not get close to me because when you get close to me, you are going to be electrocuted. The power of God is so much in my life and I need to release it. I need to release the power. I need to release the power. I need to release the power. It's burning. It's burning. It's burning. It's burning. Fire loose. Fire loose. Fire. 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 Loose, 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 fire, loose, loose, fire, fire, but all us, fire, fire, loose. 
lose your hold. Loose fire. Martellus. Tuna. Fire. Fire. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. Matalabos. Etalabas. Loose your hold. Loose fire. Loose your hold. Fire. Fire. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. Right now. Hey. Hey. Fire. 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 The power is here. The power is here. I know when the power is here. The power is here. Catch it now. Something is changing. You are rising. You are rising. You are rising. Lose your hold. 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 Now. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Right now. What is? What is? What is? What is? What is? What is? Yes, Lord. Play.
Lipada zaka teke de, lipra kato kete kete pasha, ropa daka daka gadas, ropa teke de teke de, rika zora pa daka daba, rosho koto le praga de, rika zala praga de, rete teke de teke de be, rapa da pa kato praga de se, lika zola prada zaka da, lepe de sheke te lega de, ripa da praga de praga de, rosho koto le praga de praga de, ripa da zaka zola ba, rete teke de teke de, ripa do so koto le be, lipa da zaka da ba, ripa da praga do praga de. Lipa de praga de peseke de, lipa de praga de badosa, ripe de gede ba shakada, rapa de praga de ba, ripe de gede be, ripa de praga de bosikada, ripe de gede be, lipa de praga de ba, ropa de zakata laba, lipe de gede gede be gede, lipa de zakata laba, ropa de gede be gede, lipa de praga de ba gede, ropa de gede be gede be gede, lipa de praga de ba le gede bosa, lipa de praga de be gede, ripa de praga de ba lagada, ropa de praga Lipa de praga de zakada, lipa de praga de bosa gada, lipa de praga de bosa, lipa de praga de praga de bosa, lipa 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 de praga de bosa, Ripa do praga de bagadas, ripe de gede begede, rosa kata le pede, lishe kete ze prada, ropa de bagadas, le pede gada, lo kata le pede gede, li pede za kato laba, ropa de she kete ze, rike de bagado ragada, ripe de za katoria kalabana, li nas katolia kadebe, li kata la bragada. Le praga de praga de, ropa da zakato la praga de, ripe de praga de ba shakata, liskato zakatele, lipe de praga de ba likada ba, ropa da praga de praga das, ripe de praga de praga des, lipa da shakata zekete, lipe de praga de praga dara, ropa da la praga de zekete, ripa da praga das, lipe de praga des, lipe de praga des, lipe de praga des, ropa do shakata le praga de, ripa do praza ta zakata la ba, ropa de praga de praga Ripanda braga da balagadas, ropanda gade bosha, lipando braga des, ripanda braga das. Ropa da braza katia, lipa da shakata la braga da, ropa de zekete lega de, lipa de gede bese, ropa da braga das, ropa da braga das, ropa da braga das, lipa de gede bese, ropa de gede ba shakata la ba, ripa da braga das, lipa de gede bese gede. Katol le brede se gede, lipa do she kete le gede, ropa da braga da ba le gede, ripa da braga da ba la gede, ropa da gede be gede, ropa da braga da se, lus kataza kate le gede, ripa da braga da ba la gede, ropa da gede ba sha katala ba, ropa da braga da bosi da braga da ba, lipa da braga da ba le gede bes, ripa da braga da ba le gede, ripa da braga da ba le gede bosha, ropa da braga da ba gede, ripa da braga da bosa, lipa da gede bosa, lipa da Prada baga do praga de vasa, ropa de gede boshi kete, ripa da zakata la ba, rapa kata la baga da, ripa de gede baga de baga de, ripa de baga de baga de, le praga de gede gede bo le gede bosha, lipa de gede gede bo le gede gede bosha, lipa de gede ba le gede bosha, lipa de praga de bo kata ba, rapa de praga de ba le gede be, ripa do praga de ba le gede bosha, rapa do zakata la ba, rapa de gede boshi kete, likato zapraga de ba, rapa do praga de ba, razakato le praga 
Lipadegede, Lipada Shakato Lebede, Lipada Zakato Laba, Lipadegede Begede, Lipadegede Bado Sokotose, Lipada Jakata Labagada, Ripade Bregade Besakede, Rizato Zokoto Laba, Lipadegede Bosha, Rapada Bragadeba, Rapa Catalia, Rosa Catalia Bade, Ripada Bragada, Rusakata, Lepede Jacatagade, Ripada Brada Zakato Lebea, Ripadegade Begade, Rapado Zakatalaba, Wapa Rapadia, Wapa Rapades, Wapa Rapades, Wapa Rapades, Wapa Rapades, Wapa Rapades, Wai La Pala, La Pacado Regade, Ripa La Braga de Bagada, Ripa de Gade Bagade, Ripa de Braga de Bosa, Lipa de Gade Bosa, Lipa de Gade Gades, Ripa de Braga de Bokitalaba, Ropa de Gade Bosa Gade, Lipa de Gade Bosa, Lipa de Gade Bosa Gade Gade Lipanda Bragada Bas, Ripanda Bragadabas, Ripando Bragada Bas, Lipanda Bragada, Ripando Zekadegade, Ripanda Bragada Bas, Ropa de Gede Bosegade, Lipede Bosi de Bragaria, Rapa Catalia Panda, Lipede Gede Bosegade, Lipede Gede Bosegade, Lipede Gede Bosegade, Lipede Gede Gede Bosa, Lekede Belegade. La Prada Zakadolava, Lipende Gedebosa, La Papa Dabra, Repende Gedebesa, Lipanda Bragada, Lipande Bragade, Rapa Catara, Rapa Caduria, Ripa Catariabas, Repeke de Perez, Rasa Tazacada, Rapa Catiabaya, Repende Zacadiaba, Lisha Cato Lepede, Lipande Bragade Besa, Roca Tarabaleaba, Rupende Gedebes, Lipanda Gedebalegades, Lipande Bragades, Lipende Gedebosa, Lipende Gedebosa, Lipanda Bragadeba, Lipende Gedebosa, Lipende Gedebosa, Lipende Gedeboshi de Bragade, Ripanda Bragadas, Lipende Gedebosi Gede, Lipende Gedebosa, Lipende Lipende gede bossi da bragada, ropa da bragada bagadas. Lipende gede bossa, lipende gede. Rapacata le bregade begades, Lipanda jacato le bregade, Rapacata la bragada, Rapado zocoto zecatebe, Lipanda bregade boshi de bregade, Rapada bragada bagadas, Rupa de gede begade, Ripada zacato la bragada, Ripada bregade begade, Ripada bragado zacatalaba, Rapa de gede boshi gada, Lipando zocoto le begade, Lipada bragada ba, Rupa de gede begade, Ripada bragada balegade vesse, Ripada. Ropa de Braga de Bagade, Ropa de Braga de Balegade, Ropa de Braga de Bar, Ropa de Gede Bessacada, Lipa de Jacata Legade, Lipa de Gede Gede Gede, Ripa de Braga de Lipa de Gede Bagade, Ropa de Zacata Laba, Ropa de Gede Gede, Ripa de Gede Bosita Braga de Rapa de Braga de Bar, Ropa de Zacata, Licata La Braga de Rapa Catacada, Wasiki de Gede, Lipa de Braga de Bar, Ropa de Zacata Lebe, Ropa de Braga de Rapa de Gede Begede, Ripa de Braga de Positaba, Wapa do Zekatagria, Wapa Lopa da Sekete, Lishata Prakadia, Lipa de Sekatagade, Lipa do Braga de Abada, Rapa de Abade, Rapa de Braga de Bear, Ripa de Braga de Lipa de Braga de Lipa de Braga de Bosa, Lipa de Gede Begede, Rapa de Braga, Lipa de Gede Bosa, Lipa de Zakada, Rapa de Braga de Ripa de Braga de Begede, Ripa de Gede Bosa, Lipa de Gede Bosa. Ripende bregade bregade, lipende bregade bosa, ripanda bregada, ropando pada, lipende gade bese, ripando bregade ba, ropende gade bosa gade, lipando zakata la ba, lipende gade bregade, lipende zakata la bregade, lipende gade bosa, lipanda bregade ba, ripanda bregade bosa, ripanda zakata la gade ba, ropende gade bregade, lipende gade bosa, lipende gade bosi de bregade, lipende gade bosi de bregade, ropada bagada, lipende 
de zekete gede lipe de gede bosa rapa de braga de ba rupa de gede gede lipe de gede bosa lipe de braga de bosa lisha kato lepe de lipa da zataro kata lepe de braga de ripa de braga de ba lepe de ripa de braga de bese lipa do braga de ba rupa de zekete lipa do sokoto de ba lipe de gede bosa lipe de gede gede bosa lipe de gede bosa lipe de gede bosa kete lipa de braga de ba lepe de bosa La pados, lipa de bragada, ropa de zekete legades, lipa de brega de bosa, lipa de brega de ba, ripe de gede bosa, lipe de gede bosa, lipe de gede bosa gede, ripa de brega de ba, ropa de gede bosa, ripa do brega de ba, ropa de gede bosa, lipe de gede bosa, lipa do zakata la ba, ropa de gede brega de, lipe de brega de brega de, ropa de brega de, lipa do zakata la ba, ropa de brega de bese, lipa do brega de ba zakata. Pada bagada, rasha kata la bagada, washa kato le bagada, washa kato le bagada, lipa da bagada, lapa do zakata la, lipa de bagada bagades, lipa de bagada, lipa do zokoto la bagada, ripa de bagada, ripa do plaza kata, wapa ropa plaza, lipa de bagada, lika ta la bagada, rapa de bagada, lipa de bagada bas kata, lipa de bagada bagada, lipa de bagada, ripa do bagada, lipa de bagada. Ripando bragadeba, Rapando bragadesa, Lipendega de Bosha, 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 Lipend Repede zakata, wa wa rabaya, wa wa rabaya, wa wa rabaya, wa wa rabaya. The balabas, the beles, the pados, the pedes, the palas, the kalos, the pradegada, the pradegade bosegade, the pradegade bosha, the pande bragade bes, rapadegade bokada, rapado zakadegada. Jesus, they will pray. By the reason of the anointing, you are the healed. You don't have to say amen. I'm speaking to Jehu. I'm speaking to Jehu. Jehu is the only one who will shout amen. Jehu is the only one who will respond. By the reason of this anointing, as long as your head is held, anyone that put us on a label to destroy us, by the reason of the anointing, they are destroyed. Whatever is standing against this church of Jesus that won't let it be set on the hill, whatever territorial powers, whatever rulers in the heavenly places, by the reason of the anointing, whose name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, they are bound now. From today, you go forward. Anything that is yours, jobs, promotion, money, wealth, marriage, children, businesses, wisdom, knowledge, freedom, deliverance, miracles, signs, wonders, righteousness, purity, opening, Revelation, everything that is ours, that the enemy is sitting on, that the adversaries are vowed, that we will not possess, let it be released to us now. Powers that are turning our clock backward. You are always backward in life. Where you're supposed to be a king among captains. When I'm supposed to be a king among captains. Whatever said, you will be down. Whatever said, you'll be creeping on the floor. You'll be feeding on the dust. You will live in sin. That your light will never shine. Right here on earth, we destroy their works. Let money flow to you. Let riches flow to you. 
let wealth flow to you my God will begin to defend you every student in this place the very year where you have never gotten this kind of grades where you have not been given this kind of opening doors this year become that year in Jesus name every curse every vow every spell every enchantment every divination every evil powers acting against any of our life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth let them be paralyzed let the vengeance of God sound in the camp of our enemies let them be self-destruct let them be self-destruct let them be self-destruct we shall live and not die we shall prosper and not beg we shall be strong and not be weak when we go out we shall return every internal organs our lungs our heart our kidney our liver our brain all of them shall praise the lord bless the lord oh my soul and all that's within me everything in our life in the life of our children whatever internal organs they shall bless the lord anyone that do not attend dominion the difference that you came not by telling them not by showing them pictures but the evidential miracles the breakthrough like the young lady who met me on the hallway today who's the lady that shared with me yeah like that kind of testimony you shared with me that happened to you on the spot raise your hand let the people see you a miracle happened to her on the spot you won't have to explain that you came everybody will see the evidence in your life any office any position that you plan to go and somebody sitting there and they are more qualified than you for me since you don't want it for my wife since you don't want it for my children they will be out and we shall be in this will be your best year your best month your best week what you are looking for in life we turn back and begin to look for you in the name of Jesus miracles will locate you destiny helpers will locate you money will locate you wealth will locate you anointing will locate you favor will locate you healing will locate you open doors are yours the next amen that come out of your mouth I command let the heaven open Amen should there be a witch should there be a sorcerer should there be anyone that has cursed us that is cursing us that wish evil for God's remnant assembly for your father and mother and the Lord and your family for you your spouse and your children they will not wake up by 12 midnight pull the scripture for me I'm smelling some things let them sleep a perpetual sleep hurry up reduce the volume especially for the guitar you can be playing let them sleep a perpetual sleep and let them not wake up read it everybody and they will sleep a perpetual sleep and what say it your pastor a deal on alas we daily us but they like this who parata copy to loss what paliotes what mila 
battles, Kabariotes, and the enemy of GRA. Tonight, when you sleep, by the time it is tomorrow morning, according to the word of the Lord, you shall not wake up. They shall not wake up. They shall not wake up. Clap your hands and give God praise. You are not clapping. The zeal of the Lord has eaten me up. The zeal of the Lord will eat up your sickness. It will eat up your disease. It will eat up your failure. That professor that is standing against you, that doesn't want you to graduate, the zeal of the Lord will eat them up. That man of sin, that woman of sin, that's in your life, making you to commit sin wanting you to go to hell the zeal of the Lord shall eat them up we are going to give him 24 loudness hallelujah are you ready this is dominion turn to your friend say this is dominion say this is dominion when Dula Kipo Telis, they kicked you out of University of Maryland because you don't know how to spend your time. And I told you, you go back there. Though you went to go and have some time in some way, whatever you had enough time to start 100% uh, uh, triumph there. Which school are you now? University of Maryland. All this clapping is not for this guy. Clap for Jesus. Listen, they gave you an accommodation, you don't want it. And they said they have nothing for you. Are you in one of the best accommodations there now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We overcome by the word of her. That's all I'm doing. It's already done. Your job is given. Your job is given. Your internship is settled. Your marriage is settled. Your businesses are settled. What you owe is already paid off. Malachi. What's your name? Is it Malachi? Are you looking back here? Yeah. Uh, because I know you are one of these prophetic names. Better, you're going to put that in up. The volume must be up. You get it? Or else I will change your name to Malachi. Hey. So you will you, so you not be poor again. <laughs> hey! Someone say, hey! Do it again. Say, say hey! Do it again. Increase the volume. Increase the volume. Trumpet! Trumpet! Hey! Mix it together! Bass! 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 So we lift you high! Jesus! Jesus, we lift you high. Jesus, Jesus, so we lift you high. 
24 loudest hallelujah the blessing follow you the healing is confirmed the power is released